Chapter 381 Reinforcements Arrive Translator Born to be 10 days later, by following his map, Long Chen found the lake he had used to flee for his life. He smiled when he saw that huge figure that was still unwaveringly staring at the lake from the shore. Although the barbaric wind beast was a fifth-rank magical beast, both it and the violet phoenix sparrow clearly did not possess high intelligence. It had already been so many days, but it was still just foolishly guarding here. Long Chen took out a wind spirit stone and sent it flying over at it. Wind spirit stones did not possess much weight, but there was a large amount of wind energy within them. With just a slight amount of force, they could fly out extremely far. The barbaric wind beast had been motionlessly staring at the lake, but it was extremely sensitive towards wind energy. Even that slight fluctuation of the wind spirit stone was instantly sensed by it. At this time, Long Chen was standing on top of a high mountain on the other side of the lake. His position was extremely obvious, so the barbaric wind beast instantly saw him. Without the slightest hesitation, the barbaric wind beast's six legs sprang into action, and it ran across the water to charge at Long Chen. It was incredibly fast, similar to a berserk gust of wind. Its huge body was actually capable of coasting over the water to reach him. Excellent, your wounds have already healed. I'll give you a chance to have a fair fight. Long Chen turned and fled, pushing his speed to his peak appearing like a phantom flitting across the land. His control over the netherworld ghost steps continued to improve as he advanced. But no matter how fast he was, it would be nonsense to try and escape from the violet phoenix sparrow. However, his shocking speed was very effective against the barbaric wind beast. Previously, the barbaric wind beast had been able to catch up to him despite him running at full speed. But now, he was just as fast as the barbaric wind beast. And if he summoned his divine ring, his speed would increase slightly again. However, Long Chen wasn't doing this to throw it off, but to lure it over. Just like that, he maintained a steady distance from the barbaric wind beast as he rushed forward. With the barbaric wind beast's powerful pressure, all other magical beasts were scared witless. Long Chen didn't have any misjivings and focused completely on running. Previously, on his way here, he had wasted 10 days due to how carefully he had had to travel. But now with the barbaric wind beast's pressure, he didn't need to worry about anything like sneak attacks from poisonous insects. In just three days, he was able to see his original location. In a concealed mountain valley a hundred miles from the violet phoenix sparrow's nest, Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fanger were all nervously waiting. It had been over ten days since Long Chen had left, and he hadn't told them just who he was finding for help. He had only said for them to wait for him and help him look after Little Snow. After this time, Little Snow had already recovered with Chu Yao's nursing. A short layer of white fur had grown back, and he no longer appeared so odd. Who do you think Long Chen is asking for help? Asked Men Qi. According to Men Qi's understanding, it seemed Long Chen didn't have such powerful friends. She really was unable to figure out just what reinforcements he was planning on bringing back. Chu Yao shook her head. He's already so powerful. So if he wants to find helpers, they definitely can't be much weaker than him. I really can't think of who he's looking for. Experts on the same level as Long Chen had to have reached Han Shian Iu and Yun Luo's level. Han Shian Iu didn't have any friendship with Long Chen. In fact, he had constantly been targeting him. As for Yun Luo, there was no need to even consider that. To cut off someone's arm and then ask for help from that person. No one would do something so absurd. Wait, didn't Long Chen say he was friends with Mo Nian? He definitely went to get Mo Nian, said Lu Fanger. That's right. How'd I forget that? Mo Nian is also a peak expert. He once fought with Long Chen against Yun Luo. If Long Chen asked him to, then he would definitely come help, exclaimed Chu Yao. There was no need to doubt Mo Nian's strength. Rumors had already spread that he had fought a shocking battle with Han Shian Iu that had resulted in a draw. If Long Chen had gone to find him, then with the two of them working together, plus the three of them helping, there might be a slight chance of them being able to kill the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. Overall, Long Chen's qualities are good, but he's just too obstinate. He refuses to suffer the slightest loss. He even dares fight a fifth-rank magical beast. Sighed Lu Fanger. Woo-woo. Little Snow let out a soft cry. Men Qi smiled slightly. Little Snow says that Long Chen is fine with himself suffering loss, but he absolutely refuses to allow the people beside him to suffer loss. With Men Qi's powerful spiritual strength, even though she wasn't mentally connected to Little Snow, she was still capable of reading his spiritual fluctuations. Long Chen is always like that. No matter how much grievance he suffers, 
he just brushes it off with a smile. He never complains about it to anyone. When he was in his early youth, he was completely alone. He suffered without having anyone to rely on. In the end, he managed to get through that period of bullying and humiliation, but he never once complained about it. He treats every single person beside him very well. Being protected by him is a very great blessing, said Chu Yao. Menki smiled. Sister Chu Yao really is kind-hearted. Are you telling me in a roundabout manner not to get jealous because of Long Chen? Seeing her intentions had been seen through so easily. Chu Yao reddened slightly. She had been thinking of laying a foundation for Tang Wan'er in hopes that Men Qi would be able to accept her. That way Long Chen wouldn't have to go through an awkward situation in the future. She hadn't expected Men Qi would understand what she was doing in the first moment. She couldn't help smiling with embarrassment. Wan'er is a good girl. When you two see her, you'll understand. Men Qi smiled. Sister Chu Yao, you're overthinking. In the cultivation world, strength is respected. Which peak expert doesn't have a group of beauties surrounding him? Furthermore, all of us have stepped onto the path of cultivation, a path with no retreat. Our top priority is cultivation, not romance and making babies. That would just cause us to neglect our cultivation. This is what it means by a dragon does not share a cave with snakes, and a phoenix does not fly with ordinary birds. Just as long as everyone deeply remembers their love in their hearts, it's enough. I understand, said Chu Yao sincerely. Chu Yao's origin was a princess of the secular world, but Men Qi had entered the cultivation world at a young age. Chu Yao had been taking the view of the secular world in terms of romance. As for Men Qi, she was viewing things from the cultivation world's viewpoint. Amongst cultivators, there was no such struggle between wives and concubines. Top experts naturally had countless people who revered and worshipped them, so feelings like adoration were far too common. Furthermore, the cruelest law of the cultivation world was that only the strong could have respect. Everyone cultivated with their lives on the line. So who would be so bored as to get jealous over such things? No matter how deep the feelings between two people were, once their cultivation bases were too far apart, it would be very difficult for them to be able to walk through life together. In the cultivation world, the companions of experts all needed their own corresponding strength and talent. Xiaohua's relationship with Long Chen was a good example. There was no need to doubt her feelings for Long Chen. Her feelings were pure and clear like flawless white jade. But Long Chen was unable to accept her love because the two of them were simply not on the same level. If the two of them tried to stay together, then there were only two possible conclusions. One was that Long Chen would have truly entered the cultivation world while silently protecting Xiaohua. Once a hundred years passed, Long Chen's cultivation base would have grown ever higher, while Xiaohua, even with the help of medicinal pills, would have been unable to endure, in the end becoming buried beneath the yellow ground. The other possible ending was that Long Chen, who would have to go through countless battles in the cultivation world, would eventually end up gaining enemies that would target her. Because of Long Chen, Xiaohua would end up dying tragically. Neither of these results were acceptable to Long Chen, and so it foreordained that Long Chen and Xiaohua's relationship could not last. Even if she also stepped into the cultivation world, Different cultivation realms had different longevities. Their talents were too different, so the result would not change. That was why Men Qi was giving Chu Yao a warning not to end up getting lost in such emotions. If she wanted a long-lasting love, she needed her own powerful strength. Otherwise, if a flock of geese was flying high in the air together and one ended up falling, that would be painful for all of them. Chu Yao was exceptionally smart, so she was naturally able to pick up what Men Qi was truly saying. She was extremely grateful to her, and at the same time, her view stretched further into the distance. Thank you Sister Menki. Sisters don't need to say such courteous words to each other. That would make it seem like we aren't close, smiled Menki. Yes, Chu Yao obediently nodded with a sweet smile. I feel like you two are getting way too close now. It seems like I, the little extra, am falling behind. Seeing them intimately holding each other's hands, Lu Fanger was a bit jealous. What extra? Stop talking nonsense, scolded Men Qi. Lu Fanger grumbled, but I can clearly tell that Long Chen doesn't really like me. The way he looks at me is clearly different from the way he looks at you too. What's different about it? I didn't see anything, asked Chu Yao. Ah, how should I describe that gaze? Lu Fanger stroked her chin. She looked up at the sky, wondering just what kind of expression should be used to describe it. She suddenly clapped her hands excitedly. That's right. 
It's the kind of look that says he wants to push you down and extend his ancestral line. You damn girl. How can you say such coarse things? Watch how I sort you out. Menki reddened and scolded her. She reached out and began to tickle Lu Fang'er. Chu Yao also joined the side of justice to help. The three women messed around for a while, and their bell-like laughter occasionally rang out. They were extremely far from the violet phoenix sparrow's nest and well concealed, so they didn't need to be afraid of being noticed. The three of them gradually returned to calm. Seeing that Long Chen still hadn't returned after so long, they couldn't help being worried. This was the forest of darkness, and danger was everywhere. No matter how powerful someone was, there was no guarantee of safety. What sound is that? The three of them suddenly felt the ground trembling. That trembling grew more and more intense, and a rumbling sound began to ring out. A terrifying aura was quickly approaching. The reinforcements are here. Carry out the plan. A familiar voice rang out, delighting the three women. It's Long Chen. The three of them hastily jumped to the top of a large tree to look into the distance, wanting to see just what reinforcements Long Chen had brought. But when they saw that huge monster behind Long Chen, their hands covered their mouths as they were filled with shock. Barbaric. Wind. Beast. The image of something that only existed within ancient texts surfaced in their minds. The ground was constantly trembling from the barbaric wind beast's mountain-sized body. It felt like an earthquake that could be sensed for hundreds of miles. Suddenly, a loud bird cry rang out. The violet phoenix sparrow's immense body soared out of its nest, emitting its own powerful pressure as a warning to this intruder. However, the barbaric wind beast ignored the violet phoenix sparrow. It opened its mouth and shot out a huge wind blade at Long Chen. Yes, as soon as Long Chen had seen the violet phoenix sparrow appear, he had set off in a direct line towards it. Now that the barbaric wind beast had let out its attack, he hastily dodged to the side throwing himself to the bottom of a deep well. Chapter 382 Violet Phoenix Sparrow Eggs Translator Born to be that well was something Long Chen had had Chu Yao excavate for him before leaving. It was very narrow and had a depth of 300 meters. Furthermore, at the bottom of the well was a small tunnel that allowed him to instantly rush 10 miles away to the small mountain valley where the three of them were waiting for him. Excavating such a tunnel was as easy as lifting a hand for Chu Yao who possessed her wood energy. Once Long Chen entered the well, he saw that it was lined with wood, appearing like a sleek wooden casket. Long Chen couldn't help praising Chu Yao's attention to detail. She had even made his escape tunnel so luxurious. He slid down the wooden channel and found the tunnel at the bottom was also lined with wood. It was just tall enough that Long Chen didn't need to bend down to rush forward. He began to rush away as soon as he reached the bottom. But just at that moment, the passageway behind him began to collapse. He quickly increased his speed. Light appeared in front of him. He rushed out of the tunnel, seeing the three women looking at him with concern. He, it's all fixed. I brought along a powerful helper. Long Chen could feel the ground trembling intensely, so he knew the two fifth rank magical beasts were already fighting each other. The stronger the magical beast, the more territorial they would be. They definitely wouldn't allow any competitors to step into their territory. That was because the place's powerful magical beasts staked out as their own normally had precious treasures present. If outsiders came, that would make them assume they had come to steal their treasures, and so they would fight with their lives on the line. Previously, that barbaric wind beast had let out an attack that Long Chen had instantly dodged. That attack had ended up flying towards the violet phoenix sparrow. Although these two fifth-rank magical beasts were powerful, their intelligence wasn't high. That was especially true of the barbaric wind beast that had decided to take the initiative to attack. The violet phoenix sparrow had naturally counterattacked. Magical beasts all possessed tyrannical natures, and so even if Long Chen hadn't pulled the strings for that first attack, these two magical beasts would have most likely started a battle to the death just from encountering each other. How did you do this Long Chen? Men Qi was shocked, and neither Chu Yao nor Lu Fang'er understood what was going on. He... This barbaric wind beast is a good brother. All I needed was a single sentence to get it to help, bragged Long Chen. As if anyone would believe you, this barbaric wind beast was clearly chasing you like hunting a rabbit. From its posture, it seems like it wishes to viciously swallow you in a single gulp. Chu Yao couldn't help covering her mouth and laughing. Long Chen laughed and told them about what he had run into in the misty mountain valleys. Long Chen, you really are crazy. You actually went with such a method. Men Qi couldn't help exclaiming with shock. Everyone knew that magical beasts were tyrannical and territorial. As soon as a magical beast of the same rank intruded on them, they would start a life and death battle. 
But to do what Long Chen had done required a heaven-defying courage. Most people didn't even want to think of doing such a crazy thing as what Long Chen had done. Just as they were talking, a scorching key wave shot out along with a berserk gale. Chu Yao hastily waved her hand and countless wooden stakes formed a shield around them. After a breath's time, the gale wind disappeared and she withdrew her wooden shield. They saw that the originally green land and trees had all been turned into black ash. What a terrifying attack range, spat out Lu Fanger with shock. This place was over 30 miles from the place those magical beasts were fighting. And yet, they were still being hit by waves. Fifth rank magical beasts were truly too frightening. That violet phoenix sparrow is a fire attribute magical beast. While the barbaric wind beast is a wind attribute magical beast. It's normal for their attack range to grow explosively when their attacks collide. That's right, Menki. If a fifth rank magical beast is heavily injured and cannot resist, can you make it into your houseboat? Long Chen's eyes suddenly lit up. If these two magical beasts were to take heavy injuries and lose their combat ability, and Men Qi was able to take them as houseboats, then her power would practically be heaven defying. She would be able to sweep through the entire Jiuli secret realm like that. Yin Luo? Han Shian Iu? Wouldn't they be killed with the wave of a hand? Men Qi sighed. How could that be possible? Once a magical beast reaches the fifth rank, their soul will go through a complete transformation. You've also seen that my previous spiritual attack wasn't very effective against the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. That's because their own spiritual strength has a definite resistance towards my spiritual attacks. With my current soul energy, it's absolutely impossible to subdue a fifth rank magical beast. Unless I first break through to the bone forging realm and my spiritual strength also transforms. There's no hope at all. Ah, is that so? Then that really is a pity, sighed Long Chen. Long Chen, your way of thinking really is different from ordinary people. Men Qi was somewhat speechless. He wanted someone at Tendon Transformation to enslave a fifth rank magical beast? Perhaps only Long Chen would think of something so crazy. Just looking at Long Chen's disappointed expression, they knew he was serious. He didn't dare just think of something so crazy. He even dared do such crazy things. Just drawing over a terrifying barbaric wind beast to fight with the Violet Phoenix Sparrow was something only he would dare do. The more they fight, the more distant they get. I guess that the Violet Phoenix Sparrow is afraid of aftershocks affecting its nest. Why don't we go over and take a look to see if there are any treasures in its nest? Long Chen laughed mischievously. The territory's fifth rank magical beasts chose for themselves were never ordinary places. There really were likely treasures. The four of them made a large detour around the fighting magical beast's lines of sight. They slowly reached the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's nest. Its nest was at the peak of a high mountain, a location that would let it overlook any direction. The four of them spent over two hours just climbing up the back of the mountain. The four of them carefully stuck their heads out. They saw that the Violet Phoenix Sparrow and the Barbaric Wind Beast were still constantly fighting. The mountains around them had already been raised to a flat land. Wind blades and flame intertwined appearing incredibly imposing. They were relieved to see that the Violet Phoenix Sparrow didn't have the time to care about them. Only then did they sneak into its huge nest. This nest was incomparably massive. It had to be over a mile in diameter. It was made of a tough and flexible wood. Crawling in, they all jumped in fright when they saw the situation inside the nest. Violet Phoenix Sparrow Eggs. There were a total of four large eggs. That was equivalent to four chick Violet Phoenix Sparrows which was equivalent to four powerful houseboats. We've definitely struck gold now. Hurry up and collect these eggs, exclaimed Long Chen. This was the first time Men Qi acted without any decorum at all. She rushed over and gently touched one of those huge eggs that were over three meters tall. There are a total of four violet phoenix sparrow eggs, which is perfect since it's one for each of us. Oh, the chicks inside are about to hatch. Men Qi was pleasantly surprised as she sensed the immense life energy from the egg. These Violet Phoenix Sparrow Hatlings would soon be appearing in the world. Then that really is perfect. Those Hatlings will be in a confused state and easy to connect to. We should quickly make them our houseboats. Lu Fanger extended her hand and spiritual strength slowly poured into one of the huge eggs. These chicks had yet to even hatch. They were still in an extremely disoriented state. Obtaining them as houseboats at this time, they wouldn't even need to play slave imprints. They could easily build up trust between the two. Although magical beasts were tyrannical and bloodthirsty, they would not betray those that were acknowledged as their companions. The slave imprint made a magical beast unable to resist, but it also affected their growth. Slave imprints were mostly used on matured magical beasts. 
The worst thing about slave imprints was that by using spiritual strength to suppress the magical beast, if that restriction ever loosened for any reason, the magical beast would immediately retaliate. But as for now, these violet phoenix sparrows had yet to even hatch. Forming a spiritual connection at this time was easy, and was the most ideal moment to subdue them. In less than a breath's time, Menki had already formed a kind of trust with the little fellow in her egg. She directly sent that egg into her spiritual space. Sister Chu Yao, let me teach you. It's extremely easy. Seeing that Chu Yao didn't know what to do, Menki quickly taught Chu Yao a spiritual mnemonic that truly was extremely simple. Just after hearing it once, Chu Yao comprehended it. She began to circulate her soul energy to connect with the life inside that egg. Although she was wood cultivator, Chu Yao's spiritual strength was also extremely powerful. Furthermore, establishing a spiritual space was so easy that she had actually already done so. At the beginning, she had only created it for fun and hadn't been thinking of subduing any houseboats. After all, she focused on wood cultivation. But seeing this violet phoenix sparrow egg in front of her, her heart was finally moved. Who wouldn't want a divine mount like a violet phoenix sparrow? Long Chen, why aren't you connecting to it? Long Chen hadn't collected his egg and was just looking around for something. Men Qi, you can take mine, smiled Long Chen. Why? This is a powerful violet phoenix sparrow with its own powerful strength. Men Qi naturally was confused. I have little snow, and that's enough for me. I don't need other houseboats, but little snow. Men Qi hesitated. I know. But the only houseboat I want is Little Snow, and nothing else can replace him. Even if Little Snow won't be able to help me in the future, I will still want him to always accompany me, said Long Chen extremely firmly. Woo woo. Within Long Chen's spiritual space, Little Snow let out a couple low whimpers, closing his eyes. Tears slowly flowed out. Long Chen, Men Qi's heart shook slightly. It's fine. I am a martial artist, and I should trust in my own strength the most. If I grow dependent on assistance, it will affect my day of heart. You can collect it yourself. Don't wait too long or it'll hatch, urged Long Chen. Men Qi nodded, a strange feeling appearing in her heart. Her eyes were filled with a tender sentiment, and she no longer tarried, connecting to the other egg. Other than these four eggs, Long Chen also saw the destroyed shells of another egg. The rumors were true. Violet Phoenix Sparrows gave birth to five eggs, and afterwards, they would immediately eat one to replenish their energy. Then while incubating them, it would continue consuming eggs to replenish its energy stores. In the end, only one chick would be born. Fortunately, they had arrived before the Violet Phoenix Sparrow had consumed another egg. An hour later, Chu Yao was the last one to send her egg into her spiritual space. Looking at where the two terrifying magical beasts were fighting, Long Chen sighed. In a bit, perhaps there really will be a huge battle. Chapter 383 Guests Should Eat First Translator Born to be Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fanger were a bit startled, and following Long Chen's gaze, they saw there were quite a few hidden figures watching the magical beasts fight. A fight between two fifth-rank magical beasts caused far too great of a disturbance. Just the pressure coming from them caused all the various magical beasts in the vicinity to flee. As the two magical beasts fought, more and more experts were drawn over by the disturbance. Obviously. They had all noticed these two magical beasts were fighting a battle to the death. In the end, they would definitely both be heavily injured, which would be a perfect moment for them to take advantage. Now it's troublesome. Long Chen, if you want the Violet Phoenix Sparrows needed, you'll have to beat out quite a few competitors, said Chu Yao worriedly. The Violet Phoenix Sparrows needed is a must-have for me. If they want to fight over it, then we'll fight, said Long Chen. The Violet Phoenix Sparrow's Violet Flame was ranked third on the Beast Flame rankings. Its power was something Long Chen had personally experienced. Even when he pushed his Flame Salamander's Blue Flame to its peak, he was unable to completely block that Violet Flame. Furthermore, that had been a wide area attack. If this Violet Phoenix Sparrow had concentrated all its flame energy to attack him, Long Chen would have instantly died. His current Pill Flame was far too lacking when compared to its Violet Flame. After all, one was ranked third, while the other was ranked 97th, third from last. The two were not comparable. If Long Chen refined the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's Needon, his flame energy would immediately lead to a terrifying level. Refining the Killin Fruit would be no problem at all. That was why its Needon was a must-have for Long Chen. It didn't matter who fought over it with him. Furthermore, all of this had been set up by Long Chen. He definitely couldn't let others pluck his hard-earned fruit. 
There was also that golden page that was still stuck in the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's skull. If someone else really managed to snatch the Violet Phoenix Sparrow away, then Long Chen might actually cry. Don't worry, with your strength, then adding on us, obtaining that Violet Phoenix Sparrow should be no problem. Consoled Men Ki, we can't just get the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. I also want the Barbaric Wind Beast. I need its Needon for Little Snow. Once Little Snow obtains its Needon, his cultivation base will explosively grow, said Long Chen. Then wouldn't we become everyone's target, said Chu Yao. Cultivation is a path of no retreat. If you want to get stronger, then you have to stand where the wind and waves are the fiercest. In the cultivation world, we only talk power, not reason. And even if we were talking about reason, we're also on the right side since it's because of us that these magical beasts are fighting. So you don't need to have any misjivings when the time comes. But you also can't foolishly waste your time trying to talk reason with these competitors. That's just preaching to deaf ears. These troublemakers have been annoying me for a long time now. So this time I'll reverse the tables on them. Warned Long Chen. The three women nodded. Long Chen was entirely correct. The cultivation world was just that cruel. The weak had no power at all. Whether it was the righteous path or the corrupt path. It was always strength that was respected. Fighting to the death for treasures was common. The weak could only do everything they could to get stronger in order to get their own justice. Who are you? Hand over all your treasures. Just as Long Chen had been stealthily watching the fight through cracks in the nest, a shout suddenly rang out from behind him. Turning back, he saw a chosen leading six powerful favored, all of them staring at them greedily. After just glancing at them, he didn't bother with them anymore. He merely said one icy line before continuing to watch the magical beasts fight. Either fuck off, or die. Your choice. These seven people were wearing robes from the righteous path, and their auras were extremely powerful. Seeing that these four strangers only had average cultivation bases, especially Long Chen who was only at the third heaven stage of tendon transformation, they had immediately thought to kill them for their treasures. They had noticed this nest as soon as they had been drawn over by this disturbance. They had immediately rushed over, but there were no treasures inside anymore. Then they noticed there were people who had come first, startling and infuriating them. They were entirely prepared to kill them to get their spoils. But now the person with the weakest cultivation base spouted such arrogant words. One of them angrily roared and brandished his sword. Chilling sword key cut opened the space and slashed at Long Chen. Stupid. Lu Fanger icily snorted, and extending her hand, a spiritual arrow shot out. That person didn't even react before he was struck. He collapsed to the ground powerlessly. His aura gone. Spiritual attack? You're a beast tamer. A favored had been one-shotted by Lu Fanger. The remaining six were all frightened and retreated back a couple steps, looking at Lu Fanger in horror. Spiritual attacks targeted a person's soul, and without your own powerful spiritual defenses or perhaps soul items to protect yourself, you would be instantly slaughtered. Their souls were not nearly as powerful as the Violet Phoenix Sparrow that had managed to resist her spiritual attacks, and so Lu Fanger's spiritual arrow instantly caused that person's soul to crumble and scatter. With a wave of a hand, Lu Fanger had killed a favored. Without even glancing at the rest of them, she turned to look at the fighting magical beasts. Those people's expressions all turned ugly. This was a clear disregard for them, treating them as nothing more than air. But they also didn't dare have any more thoughts of killing them for their treasures. It seemed these four had the qualifications to ignore them. The favored all looked towards their chosen. That chosen was also trapped in an impossible position. But in the end, he decided to withdraw. Once they retreated, there were also several more waves of people. Quite a few of them were like the first group and attacked them for their treasures. As a result, several more corpses appeared within the nest. Those people were all one-shotted by Lu Fanger. Each one of her spiritual attacks killed their target without the slightest resistance. Unless a person possessed powerful spiritual strength or a treasure specifically used to block spiritual attacks, they would all be eliminated without a doubt. Now Long Chen truly understood why beast tamers had such grand statuses within the cultivation world. Other than to other soul cultivators, this kind of attack was practically unblockable. Furthermore, soul cultivators were extremely rare. And amongst soul cultivators, only a small portion with exceptionally powerful spiritual strength had the qualifications to become beast tamers. That was because beast tamers had to spend the majority of their spiritual strength on commanding their magical beasts but still had enough spiritual strength to use soul arts. That was their strongest point, with powerful magical beasts guarding them. 
as well as practically supernatural spiritual attacks. Any person would feel a headache when running into a beast tamer, even with soul items to protect themselves. Soul items all needed energy. Each time they blocked a spiritual attack, it would consume a portion of their energy. Once all the soul energy in the soul item was gone, you would simply be slaughtered. Previously when Lu Fanger had run into danger, that had just been because she had been unlucky. The person she had run into possessed his own powerful strength and had possessed a soul item to protect himself. That was why she had been temporarily helpless to do anything to him. Furthermore, at that time, her housepits weren't extremely powerful. If Lu Fanger had possessed the Scarlet Blaze Lion at that time, she would have easily suppressed him to death. More and more people are arriving, and there are many experts amongst them. It seems quite a few people are part of one faction, said Chu Yao worriedly. There were many more spectators hiding around, and Chu Yao had noticed there was an especially large group hiding together. Nothing to worry about. In the end, it will still depend on strength. A bloody battle will start soon. So you three should support me from the back in a bit, said Long Chen after some hesitation. The three of them were women, and he didn't want them to be placed in danger. Furthermore, this fierce battle would cause a rain of blood, and that didn't suit these three flower-like beauties. No. I already said I will protect you and stand by your side. Even if you become a murderous, mad devil, I will become dyed in blood with you. Chu Yao shook her head extremely resolutely. Long Chen, don't try looking after us like that. Cultivation is inherently a path of no retreat. Once you step on it, you can't look back. Since we've chosen to cultivate, then we have to face the cruel competition. Being soft-hearted will only provoke major trouble, said Men Qi, also extremely seriously. Then I won't argue. Let's just keep a watch over the situation before making a battle plan. This is our group's first cooperation. So we'll definitely have to win a perfect victory. Long Chen clenched his fist, appearing full of vigor. With these three beauties supporting him, Long Chen felt full of energy and confidence. The three women looked at each other and smiled. They realized that at some unknown time, they had begun to feel the excitement. To fight together with Long Chen was definitely something worth looking forward to. At this time, the fight between the two magical beasts had reached a climax. They were crazily tearing and grappling with each other. Flame sword and wind blades danced. The two magical beasts are starting to go all out. Long Chen noticed that their attacks were growing stronger and stronger. They had finally begun to draw out the energy within their needons. These two magical beasts were different from ordinary magical beasts. Most of their essence was located within their needons. Before a critical moment, they wouldn't use that core energy. The Violet Phoenix Sparrow suddenly let out a sharp cry and spat out a violet ball of flames. That terrifyingly high temperature roasted the sky. This was the first time Long Chen was seeing the Violet Phoenix Sparrow use one of its unique attacks. That violet flame ball was compressed to the peak, and the flame inside suddenly turned practically liquid. If Long Chen was struck by this attack, he would be instantly killed. As for the barbaric wind beast, it sensed the danger and opened its mouth. A sphere of wind blades rapidly formed and an ear-piercing sound rang out, a sound that caused everyone present to be filled with intense pain. That was a sound that came from wind blades cutting through the space. Just the sound was something these people were unable to endure. The barbaric wind beast had finally brought out its own unique skill. Boom. When the wind blades and flame ball collided, they mixed and then exploded. Wind and flame shot out in every direction, instantly devouring everything within a hundred miles. No. Some people were unlucky. In order to find a good vantage point, they had gotten too close, and were instantly turned to ashes. As for those further away, just watching this scene made them turn green with horror. If they had been just a bit closer, they might have instantly turned to ashes as well. What a terrifying attack, muttered Men Qi. Just those aftershocks were able to easily kill Chosen. When the sky full of flames finally scattered, it revealed two magical beasts that were lying on the ground motionlessly. That final attack had exhausted all their energy, and they were heavily injured now. Just at this moment, countless locust-like figures became excited to charge at those two exhausted magical beasts. Long Chen, should we go now? Asked Chu Yao. No, no, no. As the host, we should let the guests eat the good food first. Smiled Long Chen. You really are wicked. Long Chen, Men Qi and Lu Fanger both smiled. A group of people had only just gotten close to the barbaric wind beast when its tail suddenly swung out, and several people let out miserable cries as they were turned into piles of meat. Chapter 384 Pill Tower Disciple Translator
born to be those fellows that had gotten close to the barbaric wind beast were turned into piles of meat by its tail. As for those that had approached the violet phoenix sparrow, they didn't have it any better. With the wave of its wings, the terrifying force turned a group of people into mincemeat. Don't be afraid. This is just their final death struggle. They'll quickly die. So it'll be up to whose luck is the best. A loud cry rang out from within the chaos. In the distance, Long Chen clearly saw that the person that had shouted hadn't even taken action yet and had been maintaining a safe distance from the two beasts from the start. This person is just as wicked as Long Chen, laughed Lu Fang Er. Just how tenacious was the life force of fifth rank magical beasts? Just how abnormal was their defensive strength? It was impossible for these favored and ordinary core disciples to kill them. That person's shout was just to encourage everyone's greed. Those greedy weaklings would exhaust the magical beast's energies as they killed them. Frankly speaking, they were just cannon fodder. At this point, there were hundreds of both righteous and corrupt disciples present. Seeing two exhausted fifth-rank magical beasts, they were unable to hold back their greed. Every part of a fifth-rank magical beast was a treasure. Their skin, their flesh, their bones, even their blood. They were all incomparably valuable, let alone their needin. Everyone had turned red-eyed now. Even if no one had encouraged them, they would still have crazily charged at these two magical beasts. They hoped to take advantage of this situation to gain some kind of advantage. But although the two magical beasts were exhausted, they were still struggling berserkly. Their huge bodies were constantly turning, killing quite a few people. In less than an incense stick's time, there were over a hundred corpses on the ground. The majority of them were only ordinary core disciples, but there were also quite a few favored. It should be about time for us to go over. The fires of those magical beast souls are about to be extinguished, said Menki. When it came to magical beasts, beast tamers knew the absolute most. No one else could compare to them in that aspect. The four of them finally jumped out of the nest and began rushing over to the battlefield. When Long Chen arrived, there were multiple chosen who also took action, beginning to release fierce attacks towards the two magical beasts. Fuck off. As soon as Long Chen appeared, a corrupt chosen cursed and attacked him with his spear, thinking he was a weakling due to his early tendon transformation cultivation base. Long Chen grabbed his spear with one hand and pushed back forcefully. That corrupt chosen spear immediately pierced through his own heart. Before he could even sense shock, a powerful force caused his body to instantly explode. Long Chen, don't get entangled by these people. You go seize the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. We'll fight over the barbaric wind beast. Menki released a spiritual attack, instantly killing a sneak attacker. All right, be careful. Long Chen saw there were many experts on the side of the barbaric wind beast, but there weren't any that should pose an actual threat to them. But on the side of the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, there were three extremely powerful experts with shocking auras that were furiously fighting. Long Chen rushed away from the barbaric wind beast that was on its last breaths. He quickly arrived at the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. There were tens of people attacking it. However, it was clear that they weren't using their full strength. No one wished to receive the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's final death strike. They all wanted to seize it the instant it died. Finally, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow ran out of life force, and it collapsed on the ground, leading everyone to fight over it. Fuck off. This Violet Phoenix Sparrow is mine. A handsome, long-haired man wearing fiery red robes shouted. He was the first to reach the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse. He was just about to put it away die. Suddenly, two fierce attacks shot towards the man's back. If he really did put away the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse, he would have to receive those two attacks. What was surprising to Long Chen was that those two attacking people were incredibly powerful, their auras even causing some pressure for Long Chen. Their attacks were not at all inferior to people at Yun Wushuang's level. Scram! The long-haired man roared, and a flame blade slashed towards the two of them. Pill flame! Long Chen's heart shook. This was the first time he encountered someone using Pill Flame since entering the Jiuli Secret Realm. Pill Flame was completely different from Ordinary Flame. Only alchemists were able to completely eradicate that berserk nature of flames. Otherwise, there was no way to refine medicinal pills. As soon as that person's flame blade appeared, Long Chen knew he was also a pill cultivator. Furthermore, the beast flame he controlled was extremely powerful, most likely ranking in the top 20 of the beast flame rankings. When the three of their weapons clashed together, that terrifying flame exploded out. A wave of flames buffeted the closest people, and they all withdrew. This violet phoenix sparrow is mine. Who dares compete over it with me? Hua Wufang. 
that Pill Cultivator was able to use his flame blade to force back the other two. As soon as Huo Wufang forced those two experts back, a figure immediately pierced through the wave of flames towards the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse. Courting death, Huo Wufang roared furiously and a blazing flame spear appeared in his hand, piercing towards that person. That person was precisely Long Chen. Huo Wufang's flame energy was incredibly powerful, and it had instantly forced back everyone else. However, this was a good opportunity for Long Chen. With his pill flame protecting his body, he forced his way through Huo Wufang's flame, arriving in front of the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse. But before he could touch it, a terrifying flame spear shot over at him. That flame spear ignited the void, and the terrifying pressure caused Long Chen to feel a kind of piercing pain in his soul. How powerful! Long Chen was shocked. He could only give up on collecting the Violet Phoenix Sparrow for the moment. Devil Decapitator emitted golden light as it slashed out Noveloon.com The instant Devil Decapitator collided with that flame spear, there was surprisingly a metallic clanging that rang out, and Long Chen's arm became a bit numb. He was actually sent flying by that powerful force. That flame spear was broken down by Long Chen's attack, and it turned into a mass of flames that filled the sky. Long Chen was given a shock. He hadn't expected to run into such a powerful pill cultivator. From this exchange, Long Chen could sense this person was probably an expert on the same level as Yun Luo. As for that person, after sending Long Chen flying, he hadn't had a chance to gather the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse before those two powerful experts once more charged forward. But those two people were clever, and they rushed towards the Violet Phoenix Sparrow from two different directions. Huo Wufang would have to choose to block one of them, while the other person would go free. It would be up to whose luck was greater. Die. Huo Wufang furiously slashed out his flame blade at one of them. That person was a chosen from the corrupt path. He couldn't help grumbling that he was unlucky. The sleeves over his arms suddenly exploded, and countless bizarre runes appeared on his arms. His arms began to expand, and a berserk energy soared out. This was clearly some sort of secret technique. Boom. They collided, emitting a powerful key wave. The violet phoenix sparrow's corpse was sent flying through the air towards the other expert. That expert celebrated and reached out to grab it, but before he could, a figure appeared before him, a golden saber slashing through the void to reach him. That person could sense just how terrifying Long Chen's saber was, and he could only give up on the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, using a weapon to block Long Chen's attack. He was sent flying by Long Chen's saber, and endless key waves once more battered the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, sending its corpse flying into the air. Ha ha ha, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow is mine. Huo Wufang jumped up to grab it. After forcing back his opponent, he had turned to fight over the corpse. But then he had seen it be blown into the air, and he had immediately jumped up to grab it. When Huo Wufang moved to snatch it, Long Chen also jumped up towards the corpse. However, Long Chen was clearly a hair slower than Huo Wufang. As for the other two chosen, they had just been forced back and didn't have time to stabilize and jump back up. Huo Wufang sensed Long Chen's existence. However, he merely sneered. He was clearly faster than Long Chen. So in his eyes, Long Chen's actions were futile. Haha, <laughs> it's mine. Huo Wufang grabbed the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse and was just about to absorb it into a spatial ring. Soul impact. A formless ripple spread from Long Chen's forehead, spreading out in a wave in every direction. Huo Wufang suddenly became absent-minded for a moment, his spiritual strength growing chaotic. By the time he recovered, the Violet Phoenix Sparrow in front of him had already disappeared to be replaced by Long Chen's smiling figure. This soul impact was something Men Qi had taught him. Although Long Chen hadn't reached the level of perfection with this profound technique, it was enough to confuse other people's spiritual strengths. More importantly, this soul impact was an area of effect attack, so he didn't need to be afraid of missing. His attack had been extremely effective here allowing him to put the Violet Phoenix Sparrow into his spatial ring even though he had been slightly slower at the beginning. Once he absorbed its corpse, Long Chen was completely at ease. If others wanted to fight with him now, then he would really make them suffer. Hand over the Violet Phoenix Sparrow or die, demanded Huo Wufang. His pointed his flame blade at Long Chen, killing intent surging out of him. As for those other two powerful chosen, seeing Long Chen absorb the Violet Phoenix Sparrow corpse, the corrupt chosen hesitated for a moment before deciding to withdraw. Obviously, he wasn't planning on participating any further. As for the other chosen, he was from the righteous path. He looked from Long Chen to Huo Wufang. Suddenly, he saw an extremely exquisite tower image on Huo Wufang's robes. 
His pupil shrunk and he also withdrew. Suddenly, several figures rushed over. A fragrant scent filled the air as Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fang are arrived by Long Chen under the guard of Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion. We got it. How about you? Asked Men Qi. Just from looking at that fellow's face, you should be able to tell the answer. Smiled Long Chen. Their first cooperative effort seemed to have worked very well, which was encouraging and worth celebrating. Men Qi smiled and nodded her head. But when she looked at Hua Wu Fang, especially that little tower embroidered on his sleeve, her expression changed. Pill Tower. Chapter 385 Battle Intent Breaks the Dome of the Sky Translator. Born to be Pill Tower, Men Qi's expression changed. She recognized that marking, and she was shocked by this person's background. Brat, if you're smart, you'll hand over that violet phoenix sparrow. I can spare your life. Hua Wu Fang icily glared at Long Chen with his hands clasped behind his back. Long Chen, he comes from the pill tower. We can't afford to offend him. Men Qi lightly pulled on Long Chen's sleeve. Long Chen was confused. Pill tower? Why did it sound so familiar? You might not know about the pill tower, but you should know about the holy land for pill cultivators. Pill Valley, right? The pill tower is the direct branch of pill valley and is essentially their spokesperson. That makes the pill tower incredibly powerful. Anywhere there are cultivators, there are alchemist guilds. While the Pill Tower is the headquarters of all those alchemist guilds, explained Men Qi, Long Chen couldn't help being startled. He hadn't expected this person's background to be so powerful. Pill Valley was a holy land for pill cultivators, but it was isolated from the mundane world. So the Pill Tower had ended up with the entire authority of the world's pill path. In other words, all those high-tier medicinal pills of the Zhuanshan Super Monastery were bought from the Pill Tower. The pill tower had essentially monopolized the entire medicinal pill market. If anyone dared offend them, then that really would be digging their own grave. Without the support of medicinal pills, then no matter how large the sect was, they would definitely decline. That was also why those two top experts had decided to withdraw from the fight without even using their full strength. They were worried about Hua Wufang's background. The pill tower was a neutral party, not a member of the righteous or corrupt path. Anyone could do business with it and so neither righteous nor corrupt experts would want to offend them. Long Chen, it's no good. You should hand over the Violet Phoenix Sparrow to him. We can think of some other way to get you a beast flame, advised Men Qi. The Pill Tower was truly just too terrifying. It was the spokesperson of Pill Valley, and almost the entire pill refining world was under their control. No one would dare provoke them. Long Chen had never imagined this bastard's background would be so powerful. If he ended up completely offending him, then perhaps even the entire super monastery would be unable to protect him from his retaliation. Forcibly swallowing his resentment, Long Chen said, I was the one who noticed this violet phoenix sparrow, and the barbaric wind beast was also drawn over by me shut up with your nonsense. Are you handing it over or not? Hua Wufang waved his hand, cutting off Long Chen. Long Chen's anger immediately flared, but he once more suppressed his temper. I can split half the violet phoenix sparrow's needon with you. That'll be enough for you to gather its beast flame. I also need its beast flame. There's nothing to discuss. Either hand over the Violet Phoenix Sparrow, or die. Your choice. You. Even Chu Yao was unable to endure it anymore, and her fury soared. Long Chen held her back. He now knew what kind of person Hua Wufang was, and he also knew what he was planning on doing. He smiled slightly, but that smile was slightly icy. For some reason, seeing Long Chen suddenly smile. The three women immediately felt their hair stand on end. Fine, since you want it, then here, please receive it. Long Chen suddenly disappeared from his original location. At first, Hua Wufang had thought that Long Chen had finally become afraid of his background and was admitting defaturing but he had just been about to sneer at him when his vision darkened. A hand came from an extremely tricky angle and swung in a profound arc to land on his face. An extremely crisp sound rang out. That slap sent Hua Wufang flying through the air. His teeth also flew through the air beside him. That sound, that feeling, and that refreshness made Long Chen feel as if all his pores had been freshly opened and were singing emotionally. Long Chen, the three women were all covering their mouths, filled with shock and horror. Had Long Chen gone mad? It wasn't just them that were shocked. All the experts from both the righteous and corrupt path were stupefied. He had learned Hua Wufang's status, and yet he had still dared to attack him? Furthermore, it was such a humiliating attack. He had to have gone insane, right? Who do you think you are? Do you think if you don your turtle shell status as a disciple of the pill tower, 
then no one will dare cut off your turtle head? Today I'll let you open your damn eyes. Not everyone is afraid of your pill tower. You want to use your background to suppress me? Your dog eyes must be blind. Cursed Long Chen furiously. This was his first time lowering his head to someone and taking a step back. But even after he had done so, this was the result. That made Long Chen understand a principle. There were some people that you absolutely could not indulge. If you gave them an inch, they would take a mile. You dare strike me. Huo Wufang let out a furious roar. He had been sent flying by Long Chen's slap without even realizing what had happened. But that also couldn't be blamed on him. The number of people that had fallen for this particular move of Long Chen's could not be counted. As long as they weren't 100% focused, then within the same realm, there was practically no one that could block Long Chen's divine face slapping technique that had practically reached a supernatural level. The angle was practically devilish. While the arc was graceful and elegant, there wasn't the slightest sign before he attacked, nor was there any killing intent to be sensed. His movements were quick. His posture was handsome, and it gave people a kind of pleasing and delightful feeling. It was wonderful to watch, but that kind of wonderful feeling was something only spectators and Long Chen got to enjoy. The person slapped felt so much pain that they wished they were dead. That was especially true in regards to those incredibly arrogant fellows who liked to look down their noses on people. That kind of mental wound far surpassed the pain of the flesh. Huo Wufang roared, and fire red runes flew through the air. A terrifying blaze sword instantly spreading everywhere, within a dozen meters of his body, everything was a fire red, making him look like some flame god, that kind of terrifying temperature could ignite the sky, for miles, the ground was roasted black by that temperature, causing many people to retreat in horror, what terrifying flame energy, ordinary people are unable to even approach, muttered a corrupt chosen with shock, even chosen were unable to bear that level of heat, there was no way to approach him if they were to fight, Pill cultivators were experts at playing with fire. When a beast flame entered their hands, with their special circulation techniques, it would be even stronger than when it was in the hands of its original magical beast owner. That was the most terrifying aspect of pill cultivators. Die. Hua Wufang roared and his flame blade explosively grew, becoming a huge, blazing blade that was 300 meters long. It cut through the void as it slashed down at Long Chen. That flame blade came crashing down from the sky looking like some heavenly blade. This attack not only contained a terrifying flame energy, but it also contained Hua Wufang's powerful will. In front of that will, the distant chosen all turned pale, their bodies involuntarily quivering. They were horrified to realize that Hua Wufang's will also contained a formless pressure that suppressed their souls. As I thought, Hua Wufang possesses an ancient bloodline. The corrupt chosen that had exchanged blows with Hua Wufang couldn't help but nod his head. When he had clashed with Hua Wufang, they had both been conserving their power. However, he was also someone who possessed an ancient bloodline inheritance, and so he had managed to sense Hua Wufang's bloodline power. The reason he had withdrawn from the competition wasn't just because of Hua Wufang's status, it was also because of his own powerful strength. This particular chosen had once exchanged pointers with Yun Luo. He sensed an almost identical pressure from Hua Wufang as he had with Yun Luo which was why he had been the first to give up. Now that Hua Wufang had released his full strength, that powerful soul pressure proved that he was definitely from an ancient family and his combat ability was shocking. In front of Hua Wufang who had released his full power, Long Chen didn't dare be negligent. He could sense that the pressure Hua Wufang gave him was not inferior to Yun Luo. Furthermore, pill cultivators were known to be stronger than average cultivators, other than when being suppressed by water attribute experts. When facing people in the same realm, there were few people who were an equal match for pill cultivators. Buzz. A divine ring appeared, shaking the heavens. Key waves surged out. The divine light shined brightly, and a star appeared in Long Chen's eyes. He looked like a battle god who had descended to this world, his whole body emitting a torrential battle intent. When Long Chen summoned out his Feng Fu battle armor, a will that desired to exterminate the nine heavens and ten lands immediately shook the blue dome of the sky. All the experts present could sense that feeling, and their faces turned pale. Long Chen's will was too terrifying. It caused their souls to quiver, making them involuntarily feel extreme reverence. The thing that terrified them the most was that Long Chen's will wasn't targeted towards them, nor was it targeted at Hua Wufang. Instead, it seemed to be being emitted automatically, directly opposing the heavens, in front of that will which desired to exterminate the entire dome of the sky, break apart heaven and earth. 
and cause the entire universe to be annihilated. They felt themselves to be as minuscule as ants. They could only take a shuddering, crawling posture. Long Chen's entire body was wrapped in blue flames. Devil Decapitator was pointing up, and a huge saber image tore into the sky, clashing with Hua Wufang's flame blade. Boom. When that saber image connected with the flame blade, it caused a world-shocking collision that emitted a terrifying pressure in all directions. The void was collapsing, and everyone's eardrums rumbled, their hearts quivering. You think just you are able to kill me, Long Chen? It's not that I want to look down on you, but that I really do look down on you. Long Chen's saber had completely destroyed Hua Wufang's flame blade. His own arms were numb, but from Hua Wufang's shocked expression, he could tell that he was better off than him. After that attack, Long Chen stepped forward, bringing with him endless imposingness and endless killing intent. Although his arms were feeling numb now and had yet to recover, Long Chen knew that in their previous exchange, Hua Wufang had not had it any better. At this time, he would use his imposingness to crush his opponent to death. Kill. Long Chen roared, his voice like spring thunder. Devil Decapitator released a golden light that filled the sky, looking like a heavenly saber as it slashed down on Hua Wufang. Hua Wufang was shocked. When his flame blade was destroyed, it caused his ki and blood to surge, and he felt a discomfort like his organs were flipping inside him. He had just condensed a new flame blade, but before he could even take a breath, Long Chen's second attack was slashing down on him with endless killing intent. Filled with horror, he could only hastily block. With another intense explosion, his newly condensed flame blade exploded, and he was knocked flying back. He organs were once more greatly shaken and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. What? Hua Wufang was injured. Everyone was shocked. After shattering Hua Wufang's flame blade again, Long Chen also felt a great impact, and he tasted sweetness in his throat. He almost coughed up blood as well. However, Long Chen refused to allow that blood to come up. He needed to display his imposingness. He couldn't let other people see that he was injured. He stamped on the ground, not waiting for Hua Wufang to land on the ground. Long Chen's third attack brought with it a whistling wind as it slashed towards Hua Wufang's head. Chapter 386 Fighting Top Experts Translator Born to be Azure Flame Shield Hua Wufang suddenly shouted, and a huge shield condensed from his flame formed in front of him. Although it was made of flames, it was incredibly lifelike, appearing like a real shield. That was the proof that Hua Wufang's control over his flame energy had reached a pinnacle. When Long Chen's Devil Decapitator slammed into his flame shield, his shield instantly shattered. Both Long Chen and Hua Wufang were blown back by each other's terrifying power. This time, Long Chen wasn't able to endure it anymore and coughed up blood. As for Hua Wufang, he was even more miserable, and coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. The flame blades that pill cultivators condensed were all connected to their minds. When those weapons were destroyed, it would cause a certain amount of harm to them as well. Having his flame blades repeatedly explode not only caused a physical impact for Hua Wufang, but also caused a powerful mental impact. Long Chen was forced back dozens of meters. He wiped off the blood from the corner of his mouth. Raising Devil Decapitator, he once more charged at Hua Wufang, his attitude seeming to say he wouldn't rest until he killed Hua Wufang. Seeing how dauntless Long Chen was, everyone was shocked. Long Chen's fighting style was similar to magical beasts, fierce beyond compare with no option of retreat. Having been repeatedly forced back by Long Chen and even coughing up blood from his attacks, Hua Wufang's fury soared. This was his first time running into such a vexing situation. As a powerful pill cultivator, as long as he didn't run into water attribute experts, then within the same realm, there was practically no one that could receive more than three blows from him. The beast flame he controlled was ranked 17th on the beast flame rankings and was extremely powerful. Once he released its full strength, Ordinary Chosen were unable to even approach him before being burnt to a crisp. Although Hua Wufang was arrogant, he had the skills to be arrogant. His control over flame energy was such that he had never met someone who was a match for him within the same realm. With his pill flame protecting his body, he was unrevealed within the same realm. But now he had encountered Long Chen. Long Chen also had a pill flame to protect his body. And although the power between their flames could not be compared, Long Chen only needed to use his flame to protect his body from his raging flames. But right now, he was competing with him in terms of brute strength. In that way, Hua Wufang's flame advantage had disappeared. If Long Chen were not an alchemist who had theoretically long since reached the pill master level, then even he would have only been able to flee in the face of an expert like Hua Wufang. Help me kill this brat and I. 
Huo Wufang, will owe you a favor. A flame blade once more appeared in Huo Wufang's hands and he blocked Long Chen's attack. He knew he had underestimated Long Chen. Long Chen's combat abilities were not inferior to his own, and he also had his pill flame to protect his body. It would be impossible for him to defaturing Long Chen by himself, so he could only use this promise to gain everyone's help. The Violet Phoenix Sparrow in Long Chen's hands was a must-have item for him. If he could refine its Beast Flame, his flame energy would once more advance a great deal. At that time, he would truly be unrevealed in his realm. Such a treasure was something he definitely wouldn't share with others. That was why he had immediately refused Long Chen's offer to share half. Although half the Nidan's energy would allow him to condense a Beast Flame, it would still cause some defects. Furthermore, good things should be kept to yourself. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that as soon as Huo Wufang shouted, there were eight experts that immediately jumped in to attack Long Chen. Long Chen was unaware of just how grand the status of a Pill Tower disciple was. Whether it was the righteous path or the corrupt path, no one wanted to offend them. Now that Huo Wufang was asking for assistance, after considering the matter, everyone would feel that the favor of a Pill Tower disciple was worth it. The thing that infuriated Long Chen the most was that those two powerful experts that had joined in on the fight for the Violet Phoenix Sparrow were also part of the people attacking him now. Long Chen might be able to ignore the others, but those two were both top experts. The pressure coming from them was like a heavy sea. Although they weren't on the same level as Huo Wufang, they were just a single level weaker. With those two added into the mix, Long Chen immediately felt the pressure multiply. Devil Decapitator danced in his hands turning into thousands of golden rays that blocked everyone's attacks. Furthermore, now more and more experts were joining in. They could all tell from the look of things that Long Chen would definitely die. They couldn't waste this opportunity to get Huo Wufang to owe them a favor. 300 righteous and corrupt experts all began charging over. 10,000 wood overgrowth. The ground split open, and countless wooden stakes were like furious dragons charging out of the sea, surging towards those attackers. With Chu Yao's wood energy, those wooden stakes were all harder than steel. Quite a few people hadn't had a chance to defend and were pierced through by those wooden stakes, letting out miserable cries. The soul returns to the netherworld. Chu Yao's attack had just passed when a terrifying soul energy rippled through the air. Other than a few chosen, the rest of the attackers suddenly turned sluggish, looking as if they had lost their souls, just motionlessly laying there. Menki's spiritual strength was incredibly vast and her attack instantly encompassed the entire battlefield, causing the majority of those attackers to enter a lifeless state for a moment. In front of soul cultivators, other than people with powerful soul energy or soul items to protect themselves, there was practically no one able to block their spiritual attacks. Although Menki's group attack was only able to last for half a breath's time, it was enough. A wind and flame attack charged into their midst, and a terrifying energy exploded out. Blood and flesh flew. Those people that had descended into a lifeless state didn't even have a chance to scream before they were annihilated. Those that had been slower to react or had been hesitating, and thus had yet to join the fighting, were all dumbfounded. This first wave of counterattacks had killed over 80 people, several of them chosen, and over 20 of them favored. Such powerful experts had been instantly killed. Whether they were from the righteous or corrupt path, everyone felt a chill in their bones. That was especially true of those people that had yet to join in on the fighting. They blessed their luck at not having thrown their lives away. Menki and Chu Yao's abilities instantly shocked everyone. When fighting over the barbaric wind beast, the two of them hadn't been so vicious. But seeing Long Chen was in danger, they no longer had any misjivings and attacked with their full strength. They no longer had the slightest mercy. After that wave of attacks, everyone was terrified. Those who were fortunate enough to not be struck by Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion's attack all withdrew, their faces pale as paper. They no longer had the slightest urge to see if they could get some benefits from this. However, there were still seven people who were surrounding Long Chen and besieging him along with Huo Wufang. Two of them were from the corrupt path while five were from the righteous path. They were all on the chosen level. A curtain of light was shining on their bodies. It looked like a translucent shell that was tightly protecting them. That was something that showed they had soul items protecting themselves. With these soul items, they temporarily didn't need to fear Menki's spiritual attacks. They were confident that as long as they endured for a short while, they would be able to kill Long Chen. After all, there was also a peak expert like Huo Wufang present. Then adding on those two top expert chosen, Long Chen wouldn't be able to endure for long. Menki and the others once more attacked, 
killing those people that were in the way. Hopefully Hua Wufang would remember to give each of them a favor. I Soul Arrow Rain. 10,000 Wood Dragons. Menki and Chu Yao attacked at the same time. A sky full of spiritual arrows swept through the group. Menki knew that soul items had limited energy. Once they were exhausted, these people would be unable to ignore her attacks. However, attacking this many people caused her spiritual attack to be spread out, meaning she wouldn't be able to exhaust them quickly. She could only pray inside that Long Chen would be able to endure. Chu Yao's wood energy surged out, and countless wooden stakes grew out of the ground, entangling those chosen. If they were ordinary chosen, then they would find it difficult to break Chu Yao's wooden stakes. But these people were all experts amongst experts. Her wooden stakes were only able to block one wave of their attacks and just form a hindrance. But Chu Yao was already satisfied with such a result. In this way, Long Chen would be able to endure longer. Furthermore, as Menki and Lu Fanger unleashed their spiritual attacks, the light curtains over those people's bodies were growing dimmer at a speed visible to the naked eye. Their soul items were running out of energy, and it wouldn't be long before their spiritual defense shattered. Once that happened, the scales of victory would tilt towards Long Chen. Devil Decapitator was flying within Long Chen's hands. Sabera Key filled the sky, fighting eight top experts. Even though Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion's attacks would help him every now and then, Long Chen was still forced to retreat step by step. Hua Wufang was too strong, not at all inferior to Yun Luo. What was different from Yun Luo was that while Yun Luo was specialized in explosive attacks, Hua Wufang was a specialist at battles of attrition. Even after fighting this long, his pill flame energy hadn't dropped in the slightest. That was the terror of pill cultivators. They could use their pill flame to exhaust their opponents to death. Everyone was frantically attacking him. But with Chu Yao's wooden stakes, Menki and Lu Fang'er's spiritual attacks, and the assistance from the two magical beasts, their attacks were still unable to do anything to Long Chen even after the time it takes for an incense stick to burn. At this time, those curtains of light protecting them had grown ever dimmer. The energy within their soul items was about to be exhausted. And once that happened, they would have to directly face Menki and Lu Fang'er's spiritual attacks. Kill this group of irritating flies, ordered Hua Wufang furiously. They couldn't let this continue. One person immediately rushed over. This person was a righteous chosen, and he charged up to the distant Menki in an instant. His sword slashing down. A powerful wind blade shot over at that person. That person had no choice but to give up on attacking Menki. His sword shattered the wind blade. But before he could do anything else, a huge ball of flames collided into him. With Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion protecting her, that person was repeatedly thwarted. Unable to approach Menki. I'll kill them. Another righteous chosen gave up on attacking Long Chen and targeted the distant Menki. As he approached, a powerful aura locked Menki in place. Careful. While blocking everyone's attacks. Long Chen shouted out a warning Noveloon.com Chu Yao extended her hand. Unable to do anything about Long Chen's side, she activated her wood energy to form a huge net in front of Menki, blocking that person's path. But with the hack of his sword, Chu Yao's wooden net was destroyed, and the Chosen charged at Menki. At this time, Menki was locked down by that person's aura and was unable to resist. Her face involuntarily turned pale. Neither Chu Yao nor Lu Fang'er could save her in time. Seeing Menki about to die to that person's sword they both cried out. Sister. Die. PFFT. Blood splashed through the air. Chapter 387 One Saw Air Shakes Enemies Translator. Born to be a sword pierced through a chest. Blood splashing into the sky. However, the sword hadn't pierced Menki's body. But Long Chen. Blood dripped down Long Chen's right chest. At this critical moment. Long Chen had used his saber to force back all his enemies and then pushed the netherworld ghost steps to its peak, just barely managing to arrive in time to use his own body to block this person's sword. Furthermore, Long Chen's saber was also inserted into that person's chest. That chosen was filled with shock as he looked at the expressionless Long Chen. Long Chen, Menki, Chu Yao, and Lu Fang are all out let out a mournful cry. That sword piercing through him was even more painful than a sword piercing their own bodies. Die? Yes, you really should die. Devil Decapitator shook, and a powerful force caused that Chosen to explode into a mass of flesh. A Chosen died just like that. Everyone was deathly silent. Even Hua Wufang and them were startled. Long Chen really was too vicious. In truth, Long Chen had been more than capable of blocking that person's attack. However, he had decided not to, and instead decided to trade an injury for that Chosen's life. 
Although he had killed that Chosen, his organs had been destroyed by the Chosen's terrifying power, and his life force was rapidly declining. Kill. Long Chen suddenly raised Devil Decapitator high into the air, its golden light filling the world. Heaven and earth rumbled as the entire world's murderous aura was completely absorbed into Long Chen's saber. Split the heavens. A saber cut through the dome of the sky, bringing with it endless killing intent, along with Long Chen's overflowing will. As soon as this saber slashed out, heaven and earth trembled. Long Chen had poured all his energy into this one attack. This attack contained Long Chen's entire mind and body, his entire heart and spirit. Everyone, including Huo Wufang, had their expression completely change. This attack contained an attitude that seemed to say if they didn't die, he would die trying. There was no room for discussion. Raging flames sealed the heavens. Huo Wufang was terrified inside, and hastily formed hand seals. A red-colored rune lit up on his forehead, and a vast pill flame formed a shield in front of his body. The others also set up their greatest defenses. They had never felt such a terrifying pressure, and so they didn't dare be the slightest bit careless. That saber broke apart the heavens and split apart the earth. A huge ditch a dozen miles long had been cut into the ground. A wave of earth had completely buried either side of it, and dust filled the air. Everyone had already disappeared. The only thing remaining in the face of that attack was that seemingly bottomless ditch. Long Chen was gasping for breath as he rested on his saber. The distant spectators all stared at that ditch with shock and terror. Then turning to look at Long Chen, they were unable to say a single thing. The ground suddenly split apart as a figure dug his way out. His body was covered in blood and his clothes were torn to rags. It's Huo Wufang. He's still alive, but his aura has fallen to an incredibly low point. He must have suffered heavy injuries. People were appalled to see Huo Wufang, who had just displayed a terrifying battle strength, nor reach the verge of collapse. It was like the slightest breeze might knock him down. Long Chen is it? Just wait. My, Huo Wufang's items are not so easy to take. Huo Wufang didn't wait for Long Chen to reply. He directly crushed a teleportation talisman, disappearing from everyone's gazes. Although Huo Wufang had lived, he had suffered grave injuries from Long Chen's last attack, and he no longer possessed the ability to fight. While Long Chen wasn't any better off than him at this time, Long Chen also had Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fanger by his side. With them helping Long Chen, Huo Wufang had no choice but to flee. Huo Wufang had only just left when the ground once more split open. A figure dug his way out of the ground, but when people saw him, everyone jumped in fright. That person was that top corrupt chosen. However, that incredibly powerful chosen was now already on his last breaths. Other than his head, one half of his body had already disappeared. And yet, somehow this person's life force was incredibly tenacious and he had managed to dig his way out of the ground. Looking at Long Chen, he seemed as if he wanted to say something. But in the end, he shut his mouth and just motionlessly lay on the ground. Is there anyone who is still unconvinced and wants to target me? Come. Long Chen icily looked at the distant spectators. Blood had dyed his entire body, and there was still a sword sticking through his chest. However, despite that, his heaven overflowing will hadn't diminished in the slightest. There was still that huge ditch in front of him, adding on how Long Chen looked like a devil god that had descended onto the world. Disdainfully looking at all, no one dared look directly at him. Hearing Long Chen's icy shout, those distant spectators actually all retreated. They wanted to leave this absolutely shocking battlefield. This had truly been a world-shaking battle, that had allowed all of them to learn the power of peak experts. That was especially true to those people called Chosen. This had been a huge impact to them. Despite all being called Chosen, there were huge differences between them. Long Chen's shout echoed throughout the land. It caused all these experts to feel helpless and terrified. A light breeze blew by, causing Long Chen's robes to flutter. He looked just like an undefeatable war god. Seeing all those experts retreat, Long Chen suddenly felt a wave of exhaustion batter him, and it was as if he had lost all his energy. He was about to collapse to the ground, but a pair of hands gently supported him. Men Qi held Long Chen, her face streaked with tears. Long Chen, Chu Yao and Lu Fang are also rushed over to help Long Chen slowly sit down. Their tears also streamed down. It's nothing. A slight wound. Long Chen tried to comfort them, but sweat was constantly pouring down his face. Don't talk. I'll heal you. Chu Yao wiped away her tears and pressed her hand on Long Chen's shoulder. Dense life energy poured into his body. Are, are you going to be alright? Long Chen was somewhat hesitant. His inner organs were destroyed at this point. He was entirely relying on spiritual key to stay alive. 
Once his spiritual key was exhausted, he would undoubtedly die. However, Long Chen still held a single drop of the divine life essence the spirit world expert had given him. Even if his injuries were worse, he'd still be able to recover. It was because of this trump card that Long Chen dared receive this kind of injury. Otherwise, Long Chen also wouldn't have been so stupid as to do this. You, you didn't even know I could heal you, but you still dared. Risk your life. You infuriate me. Chu Yao's tears once more streamed down. Isn't that just because I found him to be so displeasing? It's fine Yao -er. I promise I won't be so stupid next time. Seeing Chu Yao cry, appearing like raindrops atop a pear blossom, Long Chen hastily apologized. Don't talk anymore. I'm about to activate my core energy to remold your organs. However, you'll go through a period of weakness and won't be able to fight for a while. Chu Yao took a deep breath. Faint green lines appeared on her hand. As those lines appeared, her face became paper white. Just looking at that caused Long Chen's heart to ache. Core energy was a cultivator's foundation. For Chu Yao to activate her core energy to heal him would damage her foundation. It could very likely affect her future cultivation. However, Long Chen knew that he also couldn't refuse at this time, as that would greatly hurt Chu Yao. He could only close his eyes. He silently sensed that powerful life energy pouring into his body. This was different from when Chu Yao had regrown the flesh on his arms. This time, the spiritual ki Chu Yao was pouring into his body wasn't gaseous, but liquid. That was her core spiritual ki. It was the purest life energy she had gathered over her lifetime. Once that energy entered his body, it began to slowly rebuild his organs. Those originally broken pieces were actually dissolved by this energy and used as nutrients for the new organs. These new organs were like water balloons slowly filling up. It was possible to see fine veins growing throughout them. Two hours later, Chu Yao sighed, her face completely pale with exhaustion. I'm sorry, Long Chen held Chu Yao's hand. Chu Yao's hand brushed against Long Chen's cheek. Her pale face smiled, appearing like a flower blossoming, appearing incredibly tender. Thank you Long Chen. Chu Yao felt some heartache as she looked at Long Chen. Despite being healed now, he was still completely exhausted. I should be the one thanking you, or perhaps all of you. But next time, please don't be like this. Only when there is life is there hope. Long Chen pulled on Men Qi's hand, speaking extremely sternly. Long Chen knew that Men Qi had a teleportation talisman, but even in that dangerous situation, she hadn't used it. At first, he had been incredibly angry as that had been stupid, but then he had realized that while she had a teleportation talisman, and Chu Yao also had one, he and Lu Fang'er didn't. Neither she nor Chu Yao wished to leave behind Long Chen and Lu Fang'er to escape alone, and so they would actually rather die with them instead of using their teleportation talismans. Seeing that Long Chen had seen through her intentions, Men Qi appeared ashamed. She lowered her head and didn't say anything. It's fine. Let's not talk about this now. We should leave here. Lu Fang'er broke that awkward atmosphere and helped support the exhausted Chu Yao. As for Men Qi, she helped Long Chen up onto Little Snow. The four of them rode on Little Snow and the Scarlet Blaze Lion's backs, rushing towards the outer region of the Forest of Darkness. There was nothing within the core region that could pique their interest any longer. Moreover, in the outer region, there would be fewer people so it would be slightly safer. Long Chen had suffered heavy injuries, and Chu Yao had exhausted a great deal of her core energy. They would both need to quietly recover. Several days later, the four of them found a remote pool. There were no wild beasts in the vicinity, and there was also a clean cave nearby. The four of them tidied up the cave slightly and then went into seclusion. Long Chen recovered extremely quickly. Chu Yao's core energy had already recreated his inner organs, and his constitution had always been tough. After this time, he was pretty much recovered. On the other hand, he was extremely troubled by Chu Yao's injury to her foundation. However, she told Long Chen not to worry. Once she recovered a bit, she would absorb the seven hearts a cherry apple tree hearts wood energy, which would completely replenish her core energy and keep her foundation unaffected. Furthermore, this tree heart was a top grade one. So not only did it have powerful life energy, it also possessed the intricate mysteries of wood, which would raise her comprehension level. That was extremely beneficial to her. Since both Long Chen and Chu Yao were fine, Men Qi and Lu Fang'er finally relaxed and took out their eggs. They began to use their secret techniques to allow the chicks inside to grow faster. Days later, Long Chen had completely recovered. He saw that Chu Yao had already started refining the tree heart, while Men Qi and Lu Fang'er were guarding them. 
Seeing there were no problems with safety, he told the two of them he was leaving for a while and left the cave. Chapter 388 Phoenix Sparrow Violet Flame Translator Born to be 30 miles away from their cave, Long Chen found a secluded place to take out the Violet Phoenix Sparrow corpse. Although it was already a corpse, its huge body was still emitting a pressure that would make you feel as if a boulder was crushing your heart. Devil Decapitator slashed at its head, but Long Chen was vexed to find that its skull was just too hard, and it was extremely taxing to use Devil Decapitator to cut it open. At this point, he wasn't even able to sense the Golden Page's location anymore. He only managed to feel relief when he found a thin crack in its skull. It was with great effort that Long Chen finally managed to reach the Golden Page. That allowed him to breathe a sigh of relief. If he had lost this Golden Page, he really might just cry himself to death. This Golden Page is extremely odd. After being parted for these days, it somehow treats me as a stranger that's never touched it. Long Chen released his spiritual strength. But he found that the golden page, which he had previously been able to control with a thought, had become unfamiliar to his soul. He had to first use his soul to slowly connect with it and reform their initial connection before he could properly control it again. Although he didn't know what it was made of, just its incredible sharpness that allowed it to cut through steel like it was mud was enough to prove that it was a priceless treasure. If it weren't for Yun Luo's reflexes, he would have been instantly killed by this golden page. But the main flaw of the Golden Page was that he required soul energy to use it in fights. During an intense fight, it was impossible to split his attention to use it. In a fight between experts, a thousand actions could occur in a single breath. The slightest carelessness could result in death. So he couldn't split his attention to use it. That was also why he hadn't had a chance to use it against Yun Luo except towards the end. Furthermore, for experts on the same level, they might get surprised once by a special move but they definitely wouldn't fall for it a second time. So Long Chen wouldn't use the golden page unless he had some assurance. Once an opponent was on guard, it was very difficult for it to succeed. And if it failed twice without any accomplishments, then by the third time, the opponent would have very likely figured out how the golden page was used. The other reason Long Chen held back from using the golden page as a weapon was because he still didn't know all its secrets. If it was somehow stolen by someone, then he really would be screwed. The golden page swished through the air. It began to cut through the violet phoenix sparrow's abdomen. This time Long Chen didn't dare allow the golden page to penetrate deeply into the flesh. He actually sent himself through the opening in its abdomen and took out a footlong item that sparkled like it was jade. That was its needon. Although it was slightly dim, the great pressure emitted by it caused space to twist around it. What powerful flame energy. Long Chen could sense the terrifying power within it. It truly was worthy of being ranked third on the Beast Flame rankings. Even despite having used up all its energy, the Needon still contained its core energy which was still so powerful. Long Chen's heart beat wildly. This was something that countless pill masters would go crazy for. This was also why Huo Wufang would still go all out to fight for this Needon despite already possessing such a powerful Beast Flame. On the Beast Flame rankings, the closer a flame got to the front, the more obvious the difference between each flame was. Each flame at the top ranks was separated by a great power difference. It could be said that this Needon was the thing that Long Chen needed the most at this time. Once he refined this Needon and absorbed the Phoenix Sparrow Violet Flame, he would be able to refine the Aliyah Pill and condense the Aliyah Star. Furthermore, Long Chen had not reached the third heaven stage of Tendon Transformation. However, the price was that he had already consumed all the three connecting flower Tendon Pills he had. If he wanted to quickly advance, he would need to constantly consume more medicinal pills. Long Chen had found that after cultivating in the nine-star hegemon body art, his cultivation path had completely deviated from others. Medicinal pills had become the foundation of his cultivation. He had found that his body was able to absorb 100% of the energy within medicinal pills. There was not the slightest waste or rejection. It had to be known that other than a small portion of medicinal pills, a person could at most consume three of the same medicinal pill. By the fourth one, its effect would be negligible. When you consumed the first pill, it would be 100% effective. With the second one, the effect would be cut in half, and then in half again by the third one. So it was essentially useless by the fourth time. If you forced it and consumed even more, you might even get the opposite effect of what you wanted. The three connecting flower tendon pill was a special medicinal pill that could be consumed more. However, a person could at most consume 10 that would allow their tendons to reach their peak potential. 
But Long Chen had found that his body's tendons were like a bottomless pit, crazily absorbing whatever medicinal energy he poured in, never reaching saturation. Furthermore, as his cultivation base increased, his medicinal pill requirements only increased. Nowadays, he had already eaten all of his three connecting flower tendon pills. If this had continued, Long Chen would have had no time for cultivating, and he would also have had no time for pill refining. With his original pill flame, refining three connecting flower tendon pills was too time-consuming. To waste precious time refining medicinal pills within the Jiuli secret realm was truly a waste of his opportunity. Right now, Long Chen sensed a great deal of danger. Han Shianayu, Yin Luo, Hua Wufang, and the other peak experts here had already reached the peak of tendon transformation. They could break through to bone forging at any moment. Long Chen knew they had long since made their preparations for that. As soon as they broke through to the bone forging realm, they would immediately consume countless resources to temper their bones. Currently, Long Chen still had the power to challenge them. But once they advanced to bone forging, would he still be able to do that? However, now that he had obtained the Violet Phoenix Sparrows Needon, all this would be resolved. Once he condensed the Alief Star, Long Chen was confident that even if they advanced to bone forging, he would still at least possess the power to protect himself from them. Returning the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's corpse back into his spatial ring, he took out the Barbaric Wind Beast's corpse. He also used the Golden Page to cut through its hard scales and took out its Needon. It went without saying that while the Golden Page didn't have much usage in combat, just using it as a cutting knife was still extremely amazing. The Barbaric Wind Beast's Needon was about the same size of the Violet Phoenix Sparrow's Needon. Long Chen summoned out Little Snow. Little Snow you can swallow this Needon now and refine it slowly. Remember, refine it slowly, otherwise it can cause an explosion, warned Long Chen harshly. Although Little Snow was smart, he seemed more like a smart child, and his temperament was a bit impatient. It was best to warn him carefully about this kind of crucial matter. Aowu, Little Snow swallowed the Needon and returned to Long Chen's spiritual space. To Little Snow, who was also a wind attribute magical beast, he possessed an innate advantage when it came to absorbing this Needon. As long as he didn't rush, there wouldn't be any danger. However, the barbaric wind beast had been at the fifth rank, while Little Snow had only recently reached the fourth rank, so it would require a certain amount of time to refine it. But Long Chen wasn't impatient. Little Snow could just slowly refine it with safety as number one. He also was planning on properly resting a while and honing his blade. After settling Little Snow's matter, Long Chen used the golden page to cut open a cave within a large mountain. He then sealed the cave with himself inside. This way Long Chen could focus completely on absorbing the Needon's beast flame, but he first rested for two hours to raise his mental and spiritual states to their peaks. Looking at the Needon, Long Chen took a deep breath, placing his hand over it. His flame energy began to pour inside. Boom! The instant Long Chen's pill flame entered the Needon, it was like he had ignited explosives. A ferocious flame blazed into existence within the Needon. That violet flame immediately swallowed Long Chen's pill flame, and that wasn't all. This violet flame acted just like the berserk violet phoenix sparrow, actually releasing an attack on Long Chen. It was like the floodgates had opened. This terrifying flame surged into Long Chen's body. Its goal was to completely swallow all the pill flame that had provoked it. Long Chen felt as if lava was flowing through his meridians. That was incredibly painful. But Long Chen clenched his teeth and endured. He allowed the violet flame to chase after his pill flame. Once all the energy within the Needon poured into his body, Long Chen took his hand away and turned his body's meridians into a prison, trapping the beast flame. This was a different method from how he had subdued his previous beast flames. Just now, Long Chen had sensed that if he tried to forcibly subdue this beast flame, it would cause it to instantly erupt with fury, and Long Chen's meridians would explode. With his current strength, he should have only been able to subdue fourth rank magical beast's beast flames. A fifth rank magical beast's beast flame was wishful thinking. The reason Hua Wufang dared to absorb it was definitely because he had his own secret techniques. He definitely wouldn't be subduing it like Long Chen was trying to. Although Long Chen had no secret technique, he was still confident. A mindless beast flame acting only on instinct was unable to make things hard for him. With his body as a prison, he used his pill flame as a lure, drawing the beast flame throughout his body. When the beast flame was about to erupt, he would feed it a portion of his pill flame to make it calm down. Then he continued leading the beast flame around his body. One reason he did this was to let his meridians become accustomed to its power. 
The other reason was for the beast flame to get accustomed to its new surroundings. This cat and mouse game continued throughout Long Chen's body. The violet beast flame was constantly chasing after Long Chen's pill flame. In any case, as long as Long Chen's spiritual key didn't run out, he had more than enough pill flame to feed it. As it consumed more and more of Long Chen's pill flame, the violet flame's berserk nature was gradually eroded. This was precisely the effect Long Chen had been looking for. There was simply no way around it. Although this method would waste quite a bit of time, it was safe, easy, and now it was painless as well. After three days, the violet flame had consumed an incredible amount of Long Chen's pill flame. Its temperament was no longer so berserk, and it was accustomed to its new environment. After ten days, the violet flame seemed to have gotten tired of playing this game and was too lazy to chase after the pill flame. It would only go consume it when the pill flame took the initiative to provoke it. After half a month, the violet flame completely ignored Long Chen's pill flame. It just stayed within Long Chen's body, treating it as its new home. He, welcome to your new home. I hope you live and work happily. Long Chen laughed. The time was ripe. His spiritual strength erupted out, suppressing the beast flame. This was the final step to subdue it. Chapter 389 Refining the Aliath Pill Translator Born to be Boom The mountain Long Chen had hidden himself in crumbled, terrifying energy soared out, crashing into the sky, causing the very heavens to change color. A violet flame erupted out, igniting the void, spreading throughout a region of over a mile. The huge trees that had been atop the mountain were instantly burned to ashes. An intense temperature scorched the earth. Cracks were spreading out quickly in every direction. Ha 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 ha. I finally succeeded. Long Chen raised his head up to the sky and roared. Violet flames burned around his body, making him look like a flame god filled with a domineering spirit. Three figures quickly rushed over. They were Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Lu Fang Er. They were the first to sense this powerful aura, and so they were the first to rush over to see what was going on. Seeing Long Chen wrapped up in those violet flames, emitting a powerful pressure and surging heat waves, their hearts shook. Excellent, you succeeded Long Chen, exclaimed Chu Yao. It had to be known that a fifth rank magical beast's beast flame was ordinarily something only meridian opening experts could refine. Even top geniuses would have to at least reach the bone forging realm. But Long Chen was only a tendon transformation, and only early tendon transformation at that. This truly was too shocking. Now all their worries were swept away. Ah, suddenly, three startled cries rang through the air, and they hastily turned around, their hands covering their faces, not daring to look at Long Chen any longer. Long Chen, hurry up and put on some clothes chided Men Qi. Long Chen had been laughing heartily. He had sensed those three coming and had just been about to say something when he saw their odd movements. Then with Men Qi's reminder, he looked towards his body, even with Long Chen's incredibly thick skin. He had an urge to crawl into a hole and die. Just now, when he had subdued the beast flame, the beast flame had released all its berserk nature in one explosion. In his excitement, Long Chen had actually forgotten that that terrifying heat had already turned his clothes to ashes. Currently, there was not a single thread covering his body as he stood there. Then thinking of how he had brazenly laughed so heartily, Long Chen felt his face was scorching, and not from flame. He hastily put away the beast flame and put on clothes. Even after putting on clothes, Long Chen still felt too embarrassed. He might not be a shy person, but this was far too embarrassing. Cough. So you've come. Long Chen awkwardly laughed, not knowing just what to say. Uh huh. The three of them still refused to turn around and look at Long Chen. Long Chen could even hear their hearts pounding. Cough. About that. How are those little chicks you were incubating? Long Chen could only try and change the topic. Hearing that, the three women were much more excited. Although they were still red, they waved their hands. A spiritual fluctuation passed and four figures appeared in front of Long Chen. They were all over three meters tall. Looking at those four figures, Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit disappointed. Are these really the Violet Phoenix Sparrows? They look just like chicken chicks. These four figures were large, but in terms of form, they truly did look just like newly hatched chickens. Their feathers hadn't even grown out, and their skin was violet looking just like ugly chicks that had only just hatched. Aya, Long Chen, don't be so mean. They were only just born. Once their feathers grow out, they'll be divine steeds, protested Lu Fang Er. She gently rubbed one of the violet phoenix sparrows. That's right, they're still young. But even though they're still so young, don't you find that they are extremely cute? Chu Yao was also dissatisfied with his appraisal. 
the four chicks used their bare heads to rub against the three women as soon as they were summoned out. They wouldn't be trying to get milk. Right. Seeing those fellows rubbing against the three women's chests. Long Chen couldn't help being a bit curious. Long Chen. You're disgusting. Bite him little Violet. The three of them turned completely red. And Lu Fanger even directly ordered her chick to attack him. The little chick that had been fawning over Lu Fanger immediately opened its mouth and came biting at Long Chen. However. Its movements were incredibly clumsy. Even walking was awkward for it. Long Chen laughed and took a step to the side. But seeing Long Chen dodge, that chick furiously opened its mouth and spat out a fiery heat wave. That did make Long Chen jump in fright. However, it was only able to spit out some hot air. Obviously, it still didn't have the ability to spit out flames yet. Haha, <laughs> truly vicious enough, laughed Long Chen. Wicked Long Chen, are you trying to make a roundabout insult at us? Rebuked Men Ki. Ah, you really can't fight with tongues with women. That's a truth that hasn't changed for all eternity. Long Chen laughed and asked them about their recent situation. Chu Yao's core energy had been replenished. After absorbing a small portion of the tree heart's energy, she had begun to practically glow. She excitedly said that the tree heart's energy was so enormous that it was hard to imagine. Her wood energy was surprisingly beginning to once more transform to become even stronger. Currently, she had yet to refine even a tenth of the tree heart's energy. Once she completely refined it, her power would definitely reach a terrifying level. That filled Long Chen with excitement. Chu Yao's combat strength was focused on defense. If her wood energy once more transformed to become stronger, then her defense would practically be invincible. In group battles, Chu Yao would be like a powerful shield, protecting the entire group's life. She could attack, she could defend, and she could even heal people. Wood cultivators were the most popular people when it came to group battles. Furthermore, Menki and Lu Fanger were both incredibly excited as well. Although these violet phoenix sparrows were still in their infant state, as beast tamers, they had their own secret techniques to help them grow faster. As long as they brought them hunting, then adding on special medicinal pills, these chicks would be able to quickly grow up in just a few months. The four of them conversed for a while. Long Chen said he would once more enter seclusion and that the three of them should go wandering. After all, they needed to go hunting to allow the Violet Phoenix Sparrows to grow. With the three of them together, a powerful fourth rank magical beast by their side, and with Chu Yao's status as a powerful wood cultivator, they had nothing to fear except for peak experts on the level of Yun Luo. Chu Yao also had to spend time refining the tree heart. As she did, her strength would continuously climb. As for Men Qi and Lu Fanger, their most important task was to once more find suitable housepits as well as let the Violet Phoenix Sparrows mature. The most important thing for Long Chen was condensing the Aelia Star. Staying together now would just waste time. It was better for them to split up. Although there were dangers everywhere in the Jiuli Secret Realm, there were also countless opportunities. The more you explored, the greater chance you would have of running into a lucky opportunity. The three of them had also had such thoughts before but they hadn't wanted to say them to Long Chen. They were actually extremely excited that Long Chen would not be so emotional as to not be willing to part. Before leaving, the three of them all gave Long Chen a tender look that was enough to make Long Chen's bones soft. Just like that, the three of them began to search for their own opportunities. Long Chen didn't waste the slightest bit of time after they left. He rushed over to the cave that they had been in and took out his pill furnace, a violet flame sword in Long Chen's hand. With a thought from Long Chen, that flame jumped from finger to finger, going from his thumb to his pinky, from his pinky back to his thumb. His control had reached a smooth and easy level. It was not in vain that Long Chen had spent so much time raising this flame. He had sacrificed half a month's time to bring its repulsion to the lowest level before subduing it. But this time was not wasted. After spending so much time, his control immediately reached a high level as soon as he subdued it, placing his pill flame within his furnace. He controlled the flame to keep it at its lowest temperature. He couldn't use such a high temperature to warm up the furnace, or it would not only reduce the lifespan of the furnace, it would even cause a furnace explosion. After he had refined that giant pill for little snow and his furnace had exploded, Long Chen had specially bought ten pill furnaces from the monastery. There was no way around it. The monastery had no pill cultivators, and there were no good pill furnaces. These pill furnaces were practically antiques that had piled up within the monastery for who knew how many years. So to be safe, Long Chen had immediately bought all the pill furnaces in stock. That way he wouldn't have to worry about running out even if he caused a few furnace explosions. 
Long Chen placed the Killin fruit into the pill furnace and increased the flame power. The Killin fruit instantly melted, and began to slowly turn to powder. In truth, if you were to look at each bit of powder microscopically, you would see they were actually tiny beads that had locked all the medicinal essence inside it. Long Chen's previous pill flame had been unable to condense those tiny beads, that would cause the majority of the medicinal essence to be wasted. So no matter how amazing your pill refining arts were, you also needed a powerful pill flame. Amazing. This speed is absolutely frightening. Long Chen was incomparably excited. Refining the Killin fruit's essence had only required a breath's time. Compared to his expectation that it would take an hour, the difference was immense. Long Chen felt as if he was a beggar who had suddenly become an emperor. Compared to this phoenix sparrow violet flame, his previous flame salamander blue flame was absolute garbage. It was a pity those pill god memories in his head were incomplete. He only had pill refining techniques as well as some information about medicinal ingredients. It was truly regretful he didn't have any special fighting techniques. After fighting with Hua Wufang, Long Chen had been amazed by how powerful pill cultivators were. He knew that Hua Wufang's strength did not just lie in his beast flame and cultivation base. The main thing he relied on was his special technique to control his flame. All the flame control techniques Long Chen had were only for refining pills, not fighting. It seemed he would have to find some more techniques in that aspect in the future. After refining the Killin fruit, Long Chen raised his focus to his peak and began to pour in more medicinal powders. At the same time, he adjusted the pill flame's temperature. Although he had his pill god memories, even true gods could not guarantee a 100% pill refining rate. The slightest mishap could cause the entire pill refinement to fail. He only had so few killin' fruits, and he couldn't waste a single one. An hour later, all the medicinal powders had been properly added, and he finally sealed the furnace. Long Chen increased the flame. As long as he controlled the temperature properly, this would allow even more the medicinal essence to be locked within the pill. Two hours later, his pill furnace finally emitted a banging sound. Opening the lid, pill fragrance filled the air. He, success. Long Chen laughed and wiped off his sweat. He reached into the pill furnace. Chapter 390 The Ailey of Stars My Translator Born to be as soon as he opened the lid, a dense pill fragrance floated out along with bursts of light. The entire cave was lit up by nine long and sized medicinal pills. Long Chen excitedly cried out, three ring high grade pills. Those nine pills shined like jade, and three rings of light slowly revolved around the pills as if alive. This manifestation was something that would appear at the peak of high-grade medicinal pills. When the medicinal energy and spiritual key joined together, it would form a defensive layer on the outside of the pill. Not only would this lock the medicinal energy inside the pill, but as those rings of light revolved around the pill, they would absorb energy from the outside, continuing to nourish the pill almost as if it were alive. However, this nourishing was incredibly slow, so Long Chen didn't really care about it. What he did care about was that he had refined three ring high grade pills. Normally, only those who had reached the pill king tier could do that. But refining pills wasn't the same as cultivation base. Cultivation realms were not exact standards for what tier an alchemist could reach. There were two standards required for pill kings. One was that they could refine fourth tier medicinal pills, while the other was that they could refine at least one ring medicinal pills. Only once you met both standards could you be considered a pill king. If you wanted to reach such a level, other than needing great talent, plentiful spiritual key, and vast soul energy, you also needed a pill flame that had reached a high enough level. With those things as a foundation, you also needed skillful control and techniques. Otherwise no matter how high your cultivation base was, even a Xi'anchen alchemist would be unable to satisfy those two requirements. There were two kinds of pill kings. One had official credentials, while the other was essentially a wanderer. In the pill refining world, there was only Pill Valley. Pill Valley was the holy land for pill cultivators, and ordinary pill cultivators did not even have the qualifications to learn anything about it. Thus, the Pill Tower had become the temple for pill cultivators. If you wanted the credentials of a pill king, you would have to go there to be examined. They had special alchemists specialized in performing those trials. Once you passed, you had two options. One was to join the Pill Tower, becoming one of its members and enjoying the luxurious treatment of a disciple of the pill tower. You could also choose to leave. The pill tower would grant you a pill king status tablet, and each year the pill tower would distribute a certain amount of resources to you. However, that little amount of resources could not be compared to what true members of the pill tower obtained. In fact, 
those pitiful resources were essentially bait the pill tower through at alchemists to lure them into being one of their members. Those resources were mostly for pill cultivators to confirm just how vast and powerful the pill tower was. Pill arts, spirit medicines, beast flames, peak grade pill furnaces, all kinds of treasures were present. Those possessed a fatal attraction to pill cultivators, and there were few people who could resist their temptation. The alief pill he had refined just now could be considered a third-tier medicinal pill from its pill formula, but the difficulty in refining it, especially the control required for the heat changes during the process, had definitely already reached the level of a fourth-tier medicinal pill. In other words, after obtaining the Phoenix Sparrow Violet Flame, Long Chen could be considered a pill king. That meant he had reached the requirements of the tablet Grandmaster Yun Qi had given him. The current Long Chen now had the qualifications to use that tablet to join Pill Valley and study pill refining. However, he had his pill god memories, and those pill refining techniques were complete. He didn't care about other people's pill refining arts. He cared more about the resources given by Pill Valley. However, in order to enter Pill Valley, he would need to first go through the Pill Tower. But for this beast flame, Long Chen had completely offended Huo Wufang. It would not be so easy for him to enter Pill Valley. However, Long Chen didn't think too much about that. He just carefully took out a jade bottle and placed those alief pills inside. Looking at those sparkling alief pills that almost seemed alive, Long Chen was incredibly excited. He even felt as if consuming them would be such a shame. But in the end, he swallowed one of the alief pills. It dissolved the instant it reached his stomach. That was one of the effects of ringed pills. As long as you consumed it, it would instantly release its medicinal energy. They weren't like other medicinal pills that needed time before showing their effects. When the medicinal pill dissolved, an enormous energy surged out, seeming like a surging ocean within Long Chen's body. That kind of energy was incredibly vast, but it wasn't berserk. Instead, it was extremely gentle, and Long Chen slowly circulated the energy in accordance to the Nine Star Hegemon body art sending it to the center of his right hand. When the medicinal energy reached Long Chen's right hand, it didn't need Long Chen to do anything. The hollow of his palm trembled in the same way his foot had been when he had condensed the Feng Fu star. The medicinal energy condensed quickly, forming a vortex. While at the center of that vortex, a little kernel was gradually growing. Long Chen didn't need to do anything. This entire process happened automatically in accordance to the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Long Chen suddenly noticed his Feng Fu star, that had been remaining silent up to this moment, had now suddenly begun to rapidly circulate. An extremely pure energy slowly flowed into the vortex. That energy wasn't exactly spiritual key. Even Long Chen didn't know what that energy was. But as soon as that energy flowed in, the tiny kernel grew much larger. At the same time, a terrifying force soared out of his hand, causing the entire cave to shake. Boom. The cave collapsed burying Long Chen within, but Long Chen wasn't even paying attention to that, as all his focus was on the changes occurring within his hand. Back when he had condensed the Feng Fu star, everything had occurred too quickly, and he hadn't even understood what was going on before his Feng Fu star had condensed. But this time, he wanted the alief star to form slower so that he had enough time to examine what was going on. Yes, as I thought, to condense the first star required my body's core energy while to condense the second star requires the first star's assistance. Long Chen was closely examining the entire process. That small kernel was like a seed that was receiving nourishment as it absorbed the energy coming from the Feng Fu star. The alief pill's medicinal energy was slowly being absorbed by that seed as well. When that seed reached the size of a sesame seed, Long Chen felt a mental connection from it. With a thought, he tried to control that little thing. He smiled when he found it really was completely under his control. That let Long Chen finally relax. He had experienced far too many bumps on the road. No matter what he did, he always ran into multiple difficulties. The fact that he had finally condensed the alief star without any surprises or danger made him feel relieved from a great burden. Originally, he had been ready to face all kinds of various difficulties he had assumed would pop up. Although the alief star was only the size of a sesame seed, Long Chen was able to control it and even increase the rate at which it grew. However, what was a bit out of his expectations was that the growth of the alief star didn't just depend on the nourishment of the alief pills, but it also required the energy coming from the Feng Fu star. That energy was passively flowing from the Feng Fu star, and Long Chen didn't need to actively draw it out. The only thing he needed to do was increase the alief star's absorption rate. 
But Long Chen felt a slight chill when he saw that even after absorbing all the Aliyev pill's medicinal energy, his Aliyev star had only grown ever so slightly. He had no choice but to consume the rest of the Aliyev pills. When he consumed the ninth one and finished absorbing all its energy, he found that the Aliyev star had still only grown slightly, just barely reaching the size of a small pea. Long Chen began to sweat. Although he had felt that the few killin fruits he had found would not be enough for him to fully condense the Aliyev star, he had still felt some hope when he had seen that he was able to refine three ring high grade pills. But now all nine of them were gone, and Long Chen felt an icy chill. According to this speed, the Aliyev pills condensement would be even more difficult than the Feng Fu stars. To condense the Feng Fu star, Long Chen had used up probably almost a thousand Feng Fu pills. He only had 24 killin fruits on hand, and of those, only nine of them were fully matured. The rest were temporarily not mature enough to be used in pill refining. Furthermore, killin fruits matured extremely slowly, not to mention that new ones would only grow once the old ones matured. From the flowering process to the time where the fruit was matured, a single killin fruit would require a hundred years of sunlight and constant absorption of heaven and earth spiritual key. That fiery excitement in Long Chen's heart immediately extinguished. Long Chen suddenly stood up and his aura exploded out in order to release his frustration. A terrifying wave of ki shot out. The mountain exploded, the ground sunk, and a powerful ki wave crushed the surrounding rocks and trees into smithereens. That terrifying power even stunned Long Chen. What the? My strength. Long Chen was filled with disbelief. Everything within several miles had been turned to dust. The ground had also sunk several hundred meters. His jaw dropped. He was both delighted and shocked. Looking at the center of his right hand, that frustration was swept away. Ha ha ha, Long Chen raised his head up the sky and roared, his aura exploding out without the slightest reservation. It was as if an angry sea was trying to wash away heaven and earth, causing the sky's clouds to shake. Long Chen hadn't realized before, but now he found that it wasn't just his Feng Fu star rapidly circulating when he released his aura. That small pea-sized Aliyev star was also quickly circulating and a powerful energy was constantly pouring into his body. That energy was not at all inferior to the complete Feng Fu star. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Long Chen crazily laughed. He felt as if he might start crying from joy. He had barely condensed an embryonic form of the Aliyev star, but it was already on the same level as the Feng Fu star. Just what level of awesomeness was that? His frustration was swept away, and he was so excited he wanted to dance. He could no longer stay in this place since just his aura had destroyed it. He found another hidden place where he refined the rest of the matured killin fruits into Aliyev pills. He nourished the Aliyev star with those Aliyev pills. And ten days later, all his Aliyev pills were gone. As for the Aliyev star, it had grown to the size of a longan, and there was even some mist revolving around it, looking like a true star. Furthermore, Long Chen noticed that as his Aliyev star condensed, his physical body once more advanced to a new level his strength explosively growing, that filled him with confidence. Even if he ran into a Yun Luo who had already advanced to bone forging, he would have no fear of him. After thinking about it, Long Chen spent the next five days to refine almost a thousand three connecting flower tendon pills for himself. With his new gains, his pill refining speed had reached a practically abnormal level. These medicinal pills should be enough for him for the next while. He couldn't waste the rest of his time. Long Chen opened his map and quickly found his next target, the Abyss of Fiends. Chapter 391 Chance Encounter with an Old Friend Translator Born to be it had been almost four months since the Jiuli Secret Realm had opened. During those four months, countless disciples from both the righteous and corrupt paths had rushed throughout the various marked regions on the map. Four months was both a long and a short time. Many experts had already decided on a strategy before coming to the Jiuli Secret Realm and they had long since set their goals. There were few people like Long Chen who just aimlessly wandered around. That was because Ling Yanzi had told them that everything would be up to their fates. They couldn't force it. In truth, Ling Yanzi also felt extremely bitter inside. Compared to the other monasteries, Long Chen and his other disciples had weak foundations in the sense that they didn't have many life-saving measures. The majority of the dangerous regions all had countless opportunities within them but there were also too many people fighting over them. Ling Yanzi didn't have any extravagant hopes of them obtaining some heaven-defying opportunities. All he hoped for was for them to be able to come out alive, and Ling Yanzi's worries had not been unfounded. Only after entering the Jiuli secret realm did Long Chen realize he had looked down on the other geniuses. 
In this world, Han Shian Iyu and Yun Luo weren't the only peak experts. Huo Wufang's appearance allowed Long Chen to realize that in the vast cultivation world, there were countless experts hidden everywhere. He was not the only dark horse. Who knew just how many experts like Huo Wufang were still unknown? Even peak experts could run into failure, perhaps even lose their lives, in this place where danger and rivals were everywhere. However, Long Chen's mood was still extremely relaxed. Although the Jiuli secret realm was in a constant state of dusk, he felt a delight as if basking in a clear and boundless sky. He had finally condensed the Aelia star. Although it was just an embryonic form and he hadn't finished the nine star transformations, Long Chen already felt as if his body had undergone a complete transformation that filled Long Chen with confidence. Right now, he didn't fear any opponent, so it could be said that Long Chen had the ability to go on a rampage at this time. But the only thing that he regretted slightly was that for some unknown reason, there seemed to always be something calling to him within the Jiuli secret realm. That feeling had only grown stronger after condensing the Aelief star. However, from the start, Long Chen was unable to determine what direction that calling was coming from, and so he was unable to seek it out. Before coming to the Jiuli secret realm, he had already felt an indistinct summoning. That feeling had only grown clearer after entering the secret realm. At the beginning, Long Chen had thought that whatever was summoning had to do with the nine star hegemon body art, and so he had thought it was the killin fruit. That was because without the killin fruit, there was no way to condense the Aelia star. But now, even after he had obtained the killin fruit, that feeling of being summoned hadn't changed. If he hadn't gone to find Yun Luo, then he wouldn't have even been able to obtain the killin fruit tree, so the summoning had nothing to do with it, there was nothing he could do about that, Long Chen could only continue moving forward, whatever that thing was, if it was meant to be his, it would reveal itself to him eventually, but if it wasn't meant to be, then he shouldn't be feeling that beckoning, as for why it refused to reveal what it was, Long Chen could only conclude that their karmic destiny hadn't arrived yet, he could only walk forward step by step, now that there were only eight more months to the closing of the Jiuli secret realm, time wasn't so plentiful anymore. Since he couldn't find where that opportunity was, Long Chen could only move on. His new target was the only place marked with a blood-colored human skull. This place was the Abyss of Fiends. No one knew just how deep this abyss was, but it emitted a fiendish air that caused people's hair to stand on end. It was known as a land of definite death. That was because that fiendish air was something ordinary people were unable to block. Sometimes just by getting close to the abyss, people would be corroded by the fiendish air, causing their mental state to collapse. Countless shockingly powerful experts had tried to explore the abyss of fiend secrets. As a result, countless experts had thrown their lives away there. One peak expert had said that after advancing to bone forging, he had barely gotten 300 meters into the abyss before a terrifying pressure tore through his body almost making his body explode. 300 meters was nothing, not even enough for him to reach the bottom of the abyss. From then on, no one else tried entering. That was how that place had ended up being called a land of absolute death. Over countless years, there had never been anyone to obtain the slightest benefit from that place. But instead, countless people's lives had been thrown in. And those people whose lives had been lost were all experts amongst experts, as those were the ones who dared try to probe its secrets. Those who dared to come to the Abyss of Fiends were all extremely conceited people. They all had powerful cultivation bases or live-saving measures. But it was because of that conceit that they had lost their lives. They had used their fearlessness to tell other people a certain principle. Being a show-off had its price. Long Chen had chosen to go to the Abyss of Fiends for two reasons. The first reason was curiosity. He was like those previous experts, extremely confident in his own strength. The other reason was that now that it had been four months since the Jiuli secret realm had opened, people had long since gone through all the marked places on the map. Many opportunities had already been taken away by other people. If he wanted to find more opportunities, he would have to search in areas not marked by the map. But the Jiuli secret realm was practically boundless. No one knew how large it was. Without the markings on the map, it was all too easy to get lost. Furthermore, even if you didn't get lost, if you weren't able to get back in time for the closing of the secret realm, you wouldn't even be able to leave alive. It was only after considering it for a long time that Long Chen had decided to set his sights on the Abyss of Fiends. Furthermore, he wasn't 100% set on entering. He simply wanted to experience what the infamous Abyss of Fiends was like. If it really was too dangerous, he wouldn't force it. 
So at most he would just leave after arriving, and all that would happen was that he would waste some time. Long Chen was quite confident in his fleeing skills. Long Chen was just advancing forward when he heard a bang in the distance. He felt a strong gale surge over him. There were people fighting ahead. He was a bit surprised to encounter a fight, but within the Jiuli secret realm, fights erupted everywhere and all the time. No one knew just how many died each day in here. The Jiuli secret realm was dangerous, but the greatest danger still came from your fellow humans. 99% of the people that died within the secret realm died to fighting other disciples. It was quite the irony. However, Long Chen was still very curious about this and so he quickened his footsteps. It was in a human's nature to like to watch the action, even if he didn't interfere. It was good just to see what was going on. Dozens of miles were crossed in a flash by Long Chen. He saw four people fighting in the distance. He was slightly surprised to see one of them was a woman, and that she was fighting one against three. Those four were all favored, and she was repeatedly forced to retreat, fighting as she fled. But with their advantage in numbers, those three refused to give up. As for the woman, all alone, she was outmatched. She was already covered in quite a few injuries, blood flowing down her robes. However, she still clenched her teeth and fought a bloody battle. Three against one? Boring. Long Chen shook his head. This kind of slaughter was practically a constant show within the Jiuli secret realm. Long Chen had never considered himself to be some warrior of justice, some chivalrous hero. He just watched. Within the Jiuli secret realm, you couldn't trust any other person. You could only trust yourself. That was something Long Chen had already instilled in the other monastery disciples before entering. He naturally wouldn't make such a low-level mistake himself. Long Chen only had one rule. If people didn't offend him, he wouldn't offend them. He had no desire to fight the strong to help the weak. All he wanted was to protect the people close to him. However, he hadn't expected that the woman would actually change directions and flee towards him. I'll just act like I didn't see it. Long Chen warned himself inside. Women were always the most troublesome. And if he could avoid trouble, he should. That woman's aura was declining rapidly. She was sent flying by one of their attacks. Die. This created an opening for one of the other three. His sword ruthlessly stabbed towards her chest. He perfectly aimed his sword for where she would land. So there was no way she could dodge. That woman could tell there was no way she could block this. And her eyes were filled with despair. But suddenly a light sound rang out as a large hand caught that man's sword. A blue-robed man had appeared in front of her. Brat, don't meddle in other people's business, or you won't have a good death. Long Chen's appearance shocked the three of them. It was especially shocking that he was able to use his bare hand to catch that person's sword. However, seeing that Long Chen was merely at the early tendon transformation realm, their guard dropped back down. Damn it, I said I wouldn't do anything. How come I wasn't able to stop myself? Long Chen grumbled inside, feeling a bit angry with himself. He hadn't wanted to interfere, but when he saw that woman was just about to die, he still hadn't been able to endure it. You three brothers' appearances are grand, and you look like you put on airs. What is the point in killing a woman? Give junior brother some face and leave this matter like this. Long Chen put on the posture of a mediator. Grand appearance? Putting on airs? Was he praising them or cursing them? The three of them were infuriated and the one whose sword was being grabbed by Long Chen's hand cursed. You little wretch. Just die. He pulled his sword back with his full force, but his sword seemed to have grown a root that was stuck in Long Chen's hand. No matter how he pulled, it refused to move. He turned purple from the exertion. Hey, why are you cursing people? A displeased expression appeared on Long Chen's face, and you even put on such an ugly look. Just who is that for? Long Chen suddenly let go of the sword while that person was still pulling with his full force. He had let go so suddenly that the puller ended up smashing the hilt into his own stomach. That person vomited a mouthful of blood and flew back. The other two people were startled, and stabbed their swords directly at Long Chen. Scram! Long Chen waved his hand, and a fierce astral wind struck them. Before they could even reach Long Chen, their bodies felt as if they were being crushed, and they also vomited a mouthful of blood. You! The three of them were all shocked. They had never imagined that this brat, whose cultivation base was only at the early tendon transformation realm, would be so terrifying. As for that woman, she now finally had a chance to take a breath. She was just about to say her thanks when her expression turned to astonishment. Long Chen. Long Chen was slightly surprised and turned to look closer at that woman. She seemed slightly similar. Suddenly, he remembered. Bei Ling. 
That woman was precisely the Beiling who had been in charge of the Huaian Pavilion back in Phoenix Cry. She had once tried to rope in Long Chen to her sect as for those three. When they heard that he was Long Chen, their expressions completely changed, and they fled without even thinking about it. Long Chen, hurry and kill them. You absolutely can't let them run away. Bei Ling's expression suddenly turned to one of panic. Chapter 392 Fury Ignites Translator Born to be Long Chen, hurry and kill them. You absolutely can't let them run away. Bei Ling suddenly thought of something when she saw those three run. So she hastily cried out. Although Long Chen didn't know why Bei Ling was so panicked, his intuition told him trusting her wouldn't cause him any harm. He pointed a finger, and a violet bead flew out like lightning at the three of them. That wasn't a true bead, but Long Chen's pill flame. Long Chen's control over the Phoenix Sparrow Violet Flame had reached the level where it was practically more precise than his control of his previous flame Salamander Blue Flame. After all, he had spent such a long process to lure it in, so the flame did not feel any rejection to Long Chen's body. That bead was made of this condensed violet flame. It immediately caught up to the three of them and exploded. When it exploded, it instantly engulfed a region of hundreds of meters. Those three didn't even have a chance to scream. They were immediately burned to ash. That sight caused Bei Ling to be dumbfounded. Although she had also seen the video of Long Chen's fight with Yun Wushuang, and she knew that Long Chen was no longer the same Long Chen who was so easy to bully from Phoenix Cry. Seeing him kill three powerful favored with the point of his finger still shocked her. If she didn't see those three Dao marks floating into the sky, she might suspect she had seen wrongly. Junior sister Bei Ling, long time no see, laughed Long Chen. The world truly was small to think he would actually run into her within the secret realm. Now Long Chen was grateful he had interfered. If he had held back and only realized who Bei Ling was after she was dead, that would definitely make him feel guilty and ashamed. It seemed being righteous was important as well. Only now did Bei Ling recover from her shock. She took a deep breath and looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. That's true. It really has been a long time. Long Chen, your growth really makes me shocked. Back in Phoenix Cry. She had once offered him an invitation. Back then, she hadn't cared about his cultivation base, but his pill cultivator status. But now Long Chen was relying purely on his powerful strength to shock both the righteous and corrupt paths. She had never imagined in her wildest dreams that Long Chen would reach that level. Long Chen laughed. Sister Bei Ling overpraised me. Now why did you want me to kill those three? Three favored were nothing to Long Chen, but Bei Ling seemed extremely nervous. Could it be? You don't know? There's an arrest warrant for you, and they would immediately report your whereabouts if they get away. Then countless people would come to kill you. Bei Ling was astonished by Long Chen's ignorance. Arrest warrant? To kill me? Who put me on the arrest warrant? It seems you really don't know. Fine, I'll explain it to you in detail. Bei Ling helplessly shook her head and began to tell Long Chen about this arrest warrant. Not long after Long Chen had defeated Yun Wushuang, news had come out that the Zhuanshan Monastery's number one expert, Han Shian Iu, had issued an arrest warrant for him. He attested that Long Chen was brutal, indiscriminately slaughtering fellow members of the righteous path, using the most ruthless method to snatch treasures, his crimes completely reprehensible. If someone were to find Long Chen, they had to notify the first monastery as soon as possible, and they would gain a large reward for that. It's the same old thing? Han Shian Iu wants to target me. Long Chen smiled icily. If they wanted to come then they could come at him as much as they pleased. Just who should be afraid of who? Long Chen, you can't be overconfident. From some back channels, it's been leaked that Han Shian Iu has not long ago broken through his shackles to reach the bone forging realm. Someone personally saw the sight of him breaking through. They said his aura surged into the heavens and broke mountains. His berserk will cause people 300 miles away to feel a chill in their bones. None of those people were able to even have a heart to resist. Han Shian Iu is the first expert to reach bone forging in the Jiuli secret realm. I guess he is trying to use his advantage to eradicate all his enemies before they can break through as well. Apparently, Han Shian Iu has already begun to personally search for Yin Luo's whereabouts. However, Yin Luo might be his first target, but you, Long Chen, are his second target to kill, explained Bei Ling worriedly. It really is a case of giving face but not receiving face. If Han Shian I really dares to not know how to appreciate kindness, I'll have to use my brick to measure just how long his face is, said Long Chen hatefully. Long Chen had never offended the first monastery, and he had also never offended Han Shian Iu. 
but those fellows had always been targeting him. They had continuously schemed against him, and now they had actually issued an official arrest warrant. This was completely intolerable. Seeing Long Chen didn't have the slightest bit of fear in the face of Han Xian Iu's arrest warrant, Bei Ling wanted to say something, but she seemed a bit tongue tied. Suddenly, Bei Ling thought of something and said, That's right, Long Chen. This arrest warrant isn't just towards you. It seems to include your entire 108th monastery. What? Long Chen was truly infuriated now. They truly were looking to die. Because half a month ago, someone saw someone from your monastery called Tang. Some woman. Tang Wan'er. Right. Long Chen's heart tightened. That's right. Tang Wan'er. Someone saw Han Xian Iu's brother, Han Xian Feng, chasing after her, trying to kill her, truly courting death. Long Chen roared furiously, the veins on his forehead jumping, killing intent exploded from him. These idiots really had taken things too far. Bei Ling jumped in fright from Long Chen's killing intent. The instant that killing intent was released, Long Chen seemed just like a death god, capable of taking people's lives with just a thought. That was a murderous aura hidden within his bones. But just this murderous aura was enough to make Bei Ling's face completely pale. She felt as if she had been dropped in an ice house. Why would Han Xian Feng try to kill Tang Wan or Long Chen asked through clenched teeth. However, even before Bei Ling replied, he could guess the answer. If these idiots wanted to, they could come up with a thousand different excuses for persecuting them. Furthermore, each reason sounded so grand and righteous. Just thinking of that caused Long Chen's killing intent to surge. Don't panic Long Chen. I heard that your friend is fine. She managed to escape from Han Xian Feng. Bei Ling hastily consoled Long Chen when she saw he was on the edge of going berserk. How? It was truly luck. While chasing down Tang Wan or Han Xian Feng was noticed by Mo Nian, and Mo Nian immediately moved to attack Han Xian Feng. The two of them fought a huge battle, and in the end, Han Xian Feng was defeated. He ended up being chased by Mo Nian as he fled. Apparently, Mo Nian said the following. Don't you like framing daddy? Then if daddy doesn't break your balls today, daddy wouldn't be surnamed Mo. Bei Ling's expression was a bit embarrassed, as that was a direct quote from Mo Nian, and extremely crude. Mo Nian, Long Chen had a sudden comprehension. Mo Nian had once fought shoulder to shoulder with him, and he would naturally recognize Tang Wan or he definitely wouldn't just stand to the side when she was in trouble. As for those words he had said while chasing down Han Xian Feng, Long Chen remembered how he had once feigned being Mo Nian. It seemed Mo Nian had still been brooding about that matter and planned on releasing his fury on Han Xian Feng. Long Chen was relieved that Tang Wan Er was fine. As for Han Xian Feng, if Mo Nian wanted to kill him, Long Chen doubted Han Xian Feng would be able to escape. However, Long Chen believed that Mo Nian didn't truly want to kill Han Xian Feng. He would most likely just beat him up to release his resentment at being falsely accused. Since you want to kill my people, you should be prepared to be killed. As long as you personally attacked, don't blame me for being merciless. Perhaps to people who only attacked him, Long Chen would be able to accept it and brush it off. After all, there were constant struggles on the martial path. But if they were unable to handle him, and instead targeted the people beside him, he would be completely unable to accept it. That Mo Nian should be your friend, right? Asked Bei Ling. Yes, he is one of my brothers replied Long Chen without blushing. Good brothers had to cheat each other every now and then, right? That way they would seem closer. Long Chen, your growth really is shocking. Even a peak expert like Mo Nian is willing to be friends with you, sighed Bei Ling. Just who was Mo Nian? He was the top expert of King Prefecture. He was unrevealed within the same realm. His eyesight was exceptionally sharp, and he liked to be a lone operator. She hadn't heard of him becoming friends with anyone. But this prideful figure was brothers with Long Chen. That meant Long Chen had at least reached a similar level. Other than Han Xian Iu and Yun Luo, there are also several other people you should be careful of. One of them is called Huo Wufang. He comes from the Pill Tower, and his pill refining arts have already reached an outstanding level. His combat ability is not the slightest bit inferior to those two. Furthermore, his background is too terrifying. So if you encounter him, you should try to hide and not offend him warned Bei Ling. A strange expression appeared on Long Chen's face. It's true that I didn't want to offend him, but more importantly, he was hell-bent on offending me. Now that I've already slapped him in the face, if I said I didn't want to offend him, Huo Wufang probably wouldn't accept that, right? Other than Huo Wufang, the second monastery's Huo Biluo is also someone to be careful of. 
However, she is much more easygoing, and she won't rush into battle with people for nothing. As for the other person, you must be extremely cautious towards him. That person is called Zhu Wuya. 1. He comes from the corrupt path, but he's from a different prefecture than Yun Luo. He is incredibly powerful and a vicious person. He is also a peak expert, said Bei Ling. Long Chen was surprised that Bei Ling had so much information. Long Chen naturally knew of Hua Biluo. Although they had only just exchanged a slight glance, Long Chen could sense that she was hiding her power. She definitely wasn't as simple as she appeared. It was surprising Bei Ling knew of Hua Biluo and even Hua Wufang. Most surprising of all was that she knew of a corrupt expert called Zhu Wuya. Long Chen had never heard of him. However, considering how accurate the rest of her information was, then this person was definitely also an expert who could compare to Han Shian Ayu and Mo Nian. The current information I have is limited, so I only know of this many of the peak experts. However, Long Chen, you can't be careless. There are lots of experts that like to hide their power. They'll only reveal themselves at a critical moment, warned Bei Ling. Thank you sister Bei Ling. I'll definitely be careful. Ah, what are you thanking me for? I should be the one thanking you. Without you, I'd already be a corpse right now. Looks like my preparations still weren't enough. Even for teleportation talismans were used up. I'll have to be more careful in the future, sighed Bei Ling. For teleportation talismans, Long Chen was given a shock. Bei Ling smiled. When it comes to actual strength, my Huai insect might not be a peak existence. But when it comes to financial ability, other than the pill tower, no one can compare to us. Speaking of the Huai insect's financial abilities, Bei Ling's expression became a bit prideful. She explained some of the cultivation world to Long Chen. Chapter 393 Abyss of Fiends Translator Born to be according to Bei Ling's explanation, the Jiuli secret realm connected to seven prefectures. To put it more clearly, there were seven prefectures with entrances to the Jiuli secret realm. As for the Zhuanshan Supermonastery, it was located in just one of those seven prefectures. Each prefecture represented a vast area a million miles wide, and there were countless sects within each prefecture. Other than a few large sects that monopolized several entrances, there were many smaller entrances that were in the hands of smaller sects. So each time the secret realm opened, all the elites of the seven prefectures would gather. Within them, it was unknown just how many top experts were present. As for Bei Ling, she said her Huai and sect couldn't count as the strongest, but they could count as the wealthiest. The way the Huai and sect raised its disciples was extremely special. In order to become a core disciple, you had to first possess the ability to create a great deal of wealth. Back when Bei Ling had been sent to the Phoenix Cry capital to handle the Huai and pavilion, it was just an experience the sect had set up for her. It was also a test to see if she had the smarts to rake in money. Bei Ling, and her junior apprentice sister, Yao Nikian, managed to meet their goal target in an extremely short amount of time. They returned to the sect to receive the sect's nurturing. This nurturing was extremely bizarre. It was given in accordance to how well the disciple did during their trial. The sect gave them resources in accordance to how quickly they could make money. Long Chen was dumbfounded. Even this was a sect? This was clearly a business company. It was a bunch of old businessmen raising younger businessmen. What were they cultivating for? Bei Ling told Long Chen that their belief was in the god of wealth. When he heard that, Long Chen almost spluttered. The god of wealth? Hadn't they just become bedeviled by money? However, Bei Ling's next sentence made Long Chen almost laugh. She said that no matter how high a person's talent was, it was still no good without money to support it. As for the Huai insect, it gave people a level playing field. On that level playing field, as long as you put in the work, then it didn't matter your background, it didn't matter your current resources, it didn't matter your talent, you would still have a chance to step onto the path of cultivation. It wasn't like other sects that had stringent requirements for their disciples. The Huaian sect wouldn't refuse any cultivator. Even if you were a trash of the cultivation world, you could still join. Through your own efforts, you could obtain cultivation resources. However, those with higher talent would get a slightly higher starting point. But those without talent could still be an odd jobs worker to earn their cultivation resources, allowing even them to cultivate. The Huaian sect's disciples had practically spread throughout every corner of the world. This had caused them to be laughed at and mocked by many sects. However, even the top sects had no choice but to admit the Huaian sect truly was strong. The number of their disciples had reached an astronomical number that was simply impossible to calculate. 
With that many members, it was naturally easy for some amazing geniuses to appear in their ranks. The sect would treat those especially talented disciples even better. As for those disciples who came from ordinary backgrounds and had climbed their way up step by step, the Huaian sect would create a level playing field for them, allowing them to also grow. However, the Huaian sect was different from other sects in that it didn't allow its disciples to cheat. It didn't allow them to abuse their position for personal gain. If they wanted a level playing field, if they wanted good resources, then they had to work for them. Bei Ling was filled with pride and worship as she spoke of the Huaian sect's fairness. She had once just been a wandering street orphan. In her childhood, she had been taken in by a disciple from the Huaian sect from that point on. She had begun to use her own abilities to gain cultivation resources and cultivate. If it hadn't been for the Huaian sect, she would have stayed a starving street orphan, and there would have been no way for that fate to change to anything good. There were far too many people with fates that had been similar to hers. She and the other similar people that had been accepted into the Huaian sect were filled with gratefulness to that god of wealth. Sorry, I shouldn't have put on such an expression, apologized Long Chen. He had a good opinion of the Huaian pavilion now. This world was one where the weak were prey to the strong, a world filled with blood. Religion had already become a luxury. Long Chen felt slightly ashamed of his previous rudeness. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. We Huaian disciples are often ridiculed so we're already used to it. However, I know you weren't actually ridiculing me and just felt it was funny. Furthermore, you were able to lower your face to me, a woman, to apologize. That's enough for me to tell what kind of magnanimous person you are, laughed Bei Ling. My Huaian sect has two great advantages. One is our financial ability. Our sect is definitely the wealthiest of all sects. Each day, countless disciples join us. Each disciple increases the sect's wealth. Compared to us, those sects that rely on veins of ore or spirit fields are just wasting their resources. Our other advantage is that our auction houses are spread throughout the entire world, allowing us to gain much more detailed information than anyone else. So you don't need to be curious why I know these things. However, that information can only be used as a reference. Each sect has its own secrets. No one knows just how many monsters are hidden within these seven prefectures. You, Long Chen, are a perfect example. Your sudden rise to fame has caused quite a few jaws to drop. I trust that Han Shian Ayu, Yin Luo, and the other peak experts are all secretly preparing to handle you, said Bei Ling. Hearing Bei Ling's explanation, Long Chen felt as if he had just been a frog at the bottom of a well. Seven prefectures. If it really was as Bei Ling had said, then he really didn't know just how many peak experts would pop up. Sister Bei Ling, why would they chase after you? That can only be blamed on my bad luck. Previously, I was exploring a secret region and ended up being attacked by a peak fourth rank magical beast. I almost lost my life, and I could only use a teleportation talisman to flee. But the spot I was teleported to was extremely unfortunate. It was precisely where those three people were resting. Seeing that I was just a favored but possessed a teleportation talisman, they were immediately filled with greed and wanted to kill me for my treasures. Sighed Bei Ling. These teleportation talismans did not set directions or ordinates, but were random teleportation talismans. That was the lowest grade of all teleportation talismans, but they were still not something ordinary chosen could obtain. But Bei Ling had possessed four of them. That kind of wealth truly was shocking. It was no wonder she was filled with confidence when she spoke of the Huaian sect's wealth. Long Chen, what plans do you have? Asked Bei Ling. It seemed she wanted to team up with Long Chen. Long Chen was slightly apologetic as he said, I probably won't be able to be together with you. I'm thinking of going to the Abyss of Fiends. Long Chen really couldn't stay together with Bei Ling. Currently, it seemed enemies were everywhere around him. If he was alone, he wouldn't need to fear them. Even if he encountered experts on the level of Han Shian Ayu or Yin Luo, he wouldn't be afraid. Even if he couldn't beat them, he would still be able to run. But if he had someone by his side, he would have too many misjivings. The Abyss of Fiends? That's a place of definite death. Bei Ling was filled with shock. I just want to take a look because I'm curious. I definitely won't go down. Then fine. Be careful. Seeing that Long Chen's mind was already made up, Bei Ling didn't bother trying to advise him any further. Sister Bei Ling, you, don't worry, although I've used up my teleportation talismans, I still have some more tricks. There are also quite a few Huaian disciples in the secret realm. We have our own special communication methods, so I'll go find some of them for protection. Hearing that, Long Chen was put at ease. 
After saying some final words, the two of them parted, with Long Chen heading in the direction of the Abyss of Fiends. As he got closer, the land around him became more and more desolate. At the beginning, there was still some dense vegetation around, but after a day's travel, that vegetation had disappeared. Each mountain was completely bare. The ground had also turned from a dark yellow to a cold black. A strong deathly air was emitted from here. Three days later, Long Chen finally saw an abyss ahead. This abyss was 3,000 miles long. When he was still a hundred miles away, a terrifying pressure began to crush Long Chen. What a strong deathly air. What a powerful pressure. It was no wonder he hadn't seen a single person on his way. The pressure emitted by this abyss could easily crush favored. An ordinary person would be crushed to death before even approaching the abyss. Furthermore, the land around the abyss was barren for 10,000 miles. There was nothing to attract people here. The pressure has increased again. When Long Chen was 30 miles from the abyss, that pressure increased again. Long Chen felt as if a large mountain was crushing him. But ever since condensing the Aeliaf star, Long Chen's physical body had undergone a heaven-toppling transformation. If this was before condensing the Aeliaf star, he would have needed to use his full strength to resist this pressure. But now he could basically ignore it. As Long Chen advanced, that pressure only increased. By the time he reached the edge of the abyss, that pressure was something that would even crush Chosen. Standing at the edge of the abyss, Long Chen looked down, seeing pitch blackness. He couldn't see anything, nor could he tell how deep it was. He spread out his divine sense, but he was horrified to find that his divine sense suddenly disappeared as soon as it spread a couple dozen meters. It was like snow had been dropped into lava, instantly and silently disappearing. Furthermore, his soul energy was now being rapidly exhausted. In less than a breath's time, a tenth of it was gone. Long Chen jumped in fright and hastily retrieved his divine sense. He no longer dared try using spiritual strength to inspect this place. This abyss was too bizarre. After hesitating a moment and testing the hardness of the rock wall, Long Chen clenched his teeth and began to go down the abyss. At a depth of 300 meters, the surrounding space felt as if it had solidified as endless pressure pressed down on him. He felt even his lungs might explode from it. He had no choice but to begin circulating his spiritual key to resist it. It's no wonder even bone-forging experts would be crushed to death upon entering here. This pressure is too terrifying. Long Chen's abnormal physical body was no longer enough to resist this ocean-like pressure. This kind of pressure was enough to turn steel into powder, let alone the physical body. If he hadn't condensed the Aeliaf star, allowing his physical body to make a huge advancement, he would have long since become injured just standing here. As he entered deeper, the pressure grew, and by 10,000 meters, his skin was starting to split open, blood pouring out. Buzz. Long Chen summoned out his divine ring to resist this pressure. As soon as the divine ring appeared, Long Chen felt the pressure lessen, and he had it much easier. The divine ring not only increased his strength, but it also had a restrictive effect on the surrounding pressure. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen pressed onwards. At 15,000 meters, Long Chen finally reached the bottom of the abyss. At this place, the pressure was even stronger, and furthermore, it was now surging around. It was as if Long Chen was stuck in the ocean, his body being constantly rocked by waves. He carefully advanced forward. He saw that the ground around here had become even harder than steel from this pressure. It was like this place was a valley, but the stones around here were craggy, and a ghastly air filled the place. The fiendish aura here would make a person's hair stand on end. A sharp turn occurred in the path in front of him. Long Chen had only just made that turn when a ferocious light cut apart the void and rushed towards the middle of Long Chen's back. Chapter 394 Yu Ziaokian Translator Born to be a ferocious light cut apart the void, rushing towards the middle of Long Chen's back. That terrifying power caused Long Chen's scalp to feel numb. He had never expected to be ambushed in such a place. A violet flame blade appeared in his hand, slashing out behind him. Boom. Long Chen borrowed the powerful force to fly away from the ambusher. Turning back, he couldn't see anything at all. Suddenly, he felt a chill on his back, and another fierce attack came stabbing for the middle of his back. It had almost reached him before he noticed. Long Chen was greatly alarmed. From the start of the attack to now, he hadn't even had a chance to see who was attacking him. Their movement technique was far too bizarre. Pill flame. Long Chen's pill flame surged out of him, instantly spreading 300 meters around him. After calling out his pill flame, Devil Decapitator swung out to meet the sudden attack. Although he didn't turn back, he relied just on his intuition to strike that attack. 
but Long Chen was shocked to find a portion of his saber attack was erased somehow. A, a soft sound rang out. Long Chen turned back to look back at that faint figure, but he could only tell that this person was human shaped before they used some unknown technique to disappear in front of him, reappearing behind his back again to attack. Long Chen icily snorted, gripping Devil Decapitator with both hands. He swung around, hacking at the person behind him. As he had expected, there was a sword that had been piercing towards his back, but this time Long Chen managed to clash with it head on, his saber heavily smashing into that person's sword. Boom. Long Chen was involuntarily knocked back several steps, while that person was also sent flying by Long Chen's saber noveloon.com it's you. Suddenly, a startled cry rang out. As that illusory figure gradually became solid, it revealed that the attacker was a woman. Her figure was lithe and graceful. The sword in her hand rippled like water, and she wore a white veil that concealed her face. Although the only thing that could be seen of her face was her eyes and above, those two limpid eyes emitted a light that seemed as if they could steal a person's soul. You, Long Chen was also startled. He hadn't expected to run into her here. This was the mysterious woman that had saved his life. Back then, Long Chen had been heavily injured by Yun Luo. In the end, he had ended up running into Jiang Yifan while completely exhausted. If it weren't for her, Long Chen would already be dead. At that time, Long Chen had felt this woman to be extremely mysterious. Then through their three exchanges just now, Long Chen realized that this woman was even more powerful than he had imagined. Her practically demonic movement technique would give anyone a headache. What shocked him the most was that her cultivation base was still only at the peak of tendon transformation. It had to be known that after Long Chen had condensed the Aleph star, his combat ability had soared. He had assumed he wouldn't have any more rivals within the same realm. During their three exchanges, Long Chen hadn't held back at all, but this woman was still able to easily receive his saber's attacks. She was definitely terrifying. Sorry, I thought you were an enemy, apologized the woman. It's no matter. Just a misunderstanding, smiled Long Chen. It really was just a misunderstanding. Your aura is similar to some of my opponents. I thought they had followed me inside. Opponents? With a similar aura to mine. Their techniques and skills were different, but the auras were somewhat similar. Their body's key and blood surged like dragons, and the power of their physical body was like a beast's. Who were they? Asked Long Chen. He was very interested in what she was saying. Apparently. Those people were also specialized in body tempering. The woman merely smiled and didn't reply to his question. I wouldn't have expected you to be so strong. You actually don't require any secret treasure and can rely solely on your physical body to resist this pressure. Since she didn't directly reply, Long Chen didn't continue pestering her about that topic. He now noticed there was a faint blue curtain of light over her body. That light curtain was like ripples protecting her body within. Now he understood how she was able to stay down here. It was no wonder she could move so easily under this terrifying pressure. This secret treasure of hers allowed her to move freely. Come. The woman took a few steps towards Long Chen, and the curtain of light around her spread a bit wider, covering Long Chen as well. Long Chen immediately felt the pressure completely disappear. He no longer felt as if he was being battered by angry sea waves. Thank you. He cupped his hands to her. Why would you enter here? She asked. Well, the good places have pretty much been gone through by pigs. So I just came here to try my luck. She found that quite amusing and she laughed your guts really are big. The pressure here can easily crush bone forging experts to death. Are you trying to show off that you're a strong and daring person? In truth, I was just curious. I wanted to see what's down here. I also just entered here a short while ago. There is very likely something I need here. Will you help me out a bit? She asked after some hesitation. No problem. Long Chen nodded. She was a bit astonished. You're going to promise me just like this? Aren't you afraid of me tricking you? I owe you a huge debt. Even if you're tricking me, I'd still have to repay you. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Oh? There aren't many people like you in the righteous path. Sighed the woman. There really aren't many. Long Chen also couldn't help sighing ruefully. That woman laughed. Although it wasn't possible to see her face. Just those eyes gave people an enchanting feeling. Furthermore, that laugh of hers contained an almost devilish charm, shaking people's minds and causing their hearts to involuntarily beat faster. Your skin really is thick. Are you just praising yourself? Her body shook with laughter. That shaking of her chest particularly would make a person speechless. Long Chen hastily turned and looked in the other direction to avoid the same awkwardness as last time. To be reprimanded head-on for something like that was quite the blow to his pride. 
Seeing that unnatural expression of Long Chen's, a teasing smile appeared on the woman's face, but her mood quickly became serious again. When I saved you last time, it was just a slight effort, but if there really is what I need inside here, I hope you'll be able to bring out your full power, then I will owe you a favor. She was extremely solemn. It was obvious that whatever thing she needed was truly important to her. Long Chen nodded. As long as I have the ability, I will definitely make an all-out effort. Long Chen might not be afraid of other things, but he was afraid of owing people favors. That kind of feeling was extremely uncomfortable. Then thank you. Hopefully I'll be able to make some gains this time. That's right. I am Uzziah Okian. One. That woman suddenly realized she hadn't even given him her name. I'm Long Chen. Haha. <laughs> I already know. Perhaps it was because she had obtained Long Chen's promise. But Yu Ziaokian's mood had lightened a great deal now. The two of them slowly walked deeper into the abyss. Miss Ziaokian. Do you know anything about this place? Yu Ziaokian shook her head. I don't know anything about this place. I've searched through several danger regions of the Jiuli secret realm. But I haven't found anything I want. If I still can't find anything in this abyss. I can only leave empty handed. You didn't come to the secret realm in search of opportunities. It seemed Yu Ziaokian's goal in coming here was different from everyone else's. Correct. My time is limited, and if I still can't find anything here, I'll have to immediately leave the secret realm and return to my clan. As she carefully advanced, her expression became a bit sad. There was some kind extremely magical charm that came from Yu Ziaokian's body. It made it so others were easily affected by her mood. Seeing that worried frown on her face, Long Chen felt pity and tenderness towards her, and he actually reached out an arm to console her, but he had only just extended his arm when his sense of alarm suddenly woke him up, and he hastily retrieved his arm, regaining control of his own emotions. Something bizarre, definitely something bizarre, Long Chen muttered inside. This was completely abnormal. Long Chen had never considered himself to be one of those fellows who would turn into a lackwit who wouldn't even be able to move in the face of a beautiful woman. But with Yu Ziaokian, he constantly felt as if he were being affected by something. It seemed Yu Ziaokian's body possessed some kind of magical power that was extremely bizarre. Cough. Wait. That doesn't sound right. If the exit to the Jiuli secret realm doesn't open, how will you leave? Long Chen suddenly recalled that the exit was closed. It was impossible for her to leave. Yu Ziaokian smiled mysteriously. I have my own methods. However, that's one of my secrets. So I can't tell you what it is. Although she had refused to answer, it was difficult for anyone to form any anger with her. Long Chen smiled bitterly. This woman had to be a demoness. The fiendish aura is growing denser. Be careful, warned Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen didn't need her warning. Yu Ziaokian's light curtain might be able to isolate them from the pressure, but it was unable to block that aura. That aura was brutal and filled with a desire to massacre. It was as if a sinister fiend was staring them in the face. Even Long Chen felt a chill in his bones. The two of them advanced for over two hours. That fiendish aura grew ever denser. With Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength, he was able to resist it. Long Chen glanced at Yu Ziaokian, and saw her expression hadn't changed at all. She was obviously able to easily resist the invasion of that aura. That aura was evil to the extreme. People with weak spiritual strength would have their minds invaded by that fiendish aura and turned insane. Long Chen really was unable to comprehend Yu Ziaokian. In their brief exchange, Long Chen had learned just how terrifying she was. She was definitely not inferior to Yun Luo. In fact, perhaps she was even stronger. He involuntarily thought of Bei Ling's warning. The Jiuli secret realm was connected to seven prefectures, and there were countless experts. No one knew how many hidden peak experts were present in the secret realm. Now that he had encountered Yu Ziaokian, Long Chen trusted Bei Ling's warning even more. Buzz. Yu Ziaokian's light curtain had now begun to tremble. The pressure here had grown too strong, and even the light curtain was finding it taxing to resist it. After over 30 miles, the path suddenly widened. They appeared at a level land, but when Long Chen saw a huge skeleton lying on the ground, his jaw dropped. Chapter 395 Winged Devil Skeleton Translator Born to be that skeleton was 300 meters long. It was very similar to a human skeleton, but there was a pair of bone wings on its back. Its fingers and toes were slender and long, looking like hooks. The head was just like a human's head, but its teeth were pointed and extremely sharp, like saw teeth. When that skeleton appeared, Long Chen noticed that Yu Ziaokian's light curtain began to tremble intensely, looking as if it might break at any moment. 
That meant the pressure outside had already reached an absolutely terrifying level. At the same time, an incredibly dense fiendish aura crazily poured over Long Chen. It was as if there were countless bloodthirsty fiends within heaven and earth, all charging over at Long Chen. That would easily break anyone's courage. This skeleton had clearly already been dead for who knew how many years, but it still released such a terrifying pressure. Then just how frightening would it have been when it was alive? Long Chen was suddenly horrified to notice that the skeleton that was lying there had clearly been cut in half through the middle, splitting it into an upper and lower portion. While Long Chen was horrified, Yu Ziaokian was the opposite. She was filled with delight, and her body even began to involuntarily tremble. Long Chen, that's what I was looking for, she said excitedly. What is it? That's a two-winged devil man. It was extremely powerful when it was alive. Just its aura was able to easily crush Xianchen experts to death, answered Yu Ziaokian. Seeing Long Chen's shock, Yu Ziaokian was a bit apologetic as she said, The origins of the two-winged devilman is something not suitable for you to learn now. It relates to far too many secrets. Since she refused to say, Long Chen couldn't force her. Who asked him to not have any learning? He quietly asked, Do you want to gather the entire skeleton? I don't need the entire skeleton. I just need its devil core. Then how should we do it? In a bit, I will have to put away my curtain of light, which will expose you to the two-winged devil man's powerful pressure. Will you be okay? Seeing the curtain of light was constantly trembling. Then looking at that terrifying skeleton, Long Chen truly wanted to say that he wouldn't be okay, but he still forced himself to say, it should be no problem, if you can't handle it, don't force it and just fall back further from here, the pressure will weaken there, looking at the two-winged devil man skeleton, Yu Ziaokian continued, its devil core is located in the space between its eyebrows, in order to obtain the devil core, we'll have to go through a fierce battle, Long Chen was startled, a fierce battle, yes, the two-winged devilman's mental powers are extremely powerful. Although it has already been dead for who knows how many years, its devil core still contains its essence. Within the devil core is a remnant of its soul. This remnant soul is unable to connect to the main body. You might not understand that explanation, but maybe if I explain it this way it'll be easier. It's like a parasite. The two-winged devilman's soul also contains another kind of energy, and when the main body dies, that energy will be reborn within its devil core. Before it is provoked by something in the outside world, it won't cause any movements. But once a person disturbs it, it will attack, explained Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen was absolutely dumbfounded. Is it a spiritual attack? No. It will control the two-winged devil man's corpse to battle. You have to be careful, as even a dead two-winged devil man is extremely terrifying. This time Long Chen really had gained knowledge and experience. Fine. Let's start. Yu Ziaokian scattered her light curtain and a terrifying pressure immediately crashed down on the two of them. That berserk power wanted to pulverize them. Long Chen immediately summoned his divine ring. The 300-meter divine ring caused heaven and earth to quiver and rumble. Although this pressure was terrifying, Long Chen was able to endure it with the divine ring. However, that pressure wasn't fixed from one direction. Instead, it continuously surged randomly, and Long Chen's body was also swaying along with the pressure. He once more felt as if he had been dropped in the middle of an angry ocean. Long Chen looked over at Yu Ziaokian. Her long hair fluttered through the air. A huge illusory figure appeared behind her. That pressure was unable to move her in the slightest. He couldn't help being shocked. This woman was truly too terrifying. That illusory figure behind her didn't seem the slightest bit weaker than his divine ring. This was his first time running into such a terrifying technique. Be careful. If you can't endure it, just fall back. Don't take any risks. After giving him this final warning, Yu Ziaokian gracefully walked over to the skeleton. Long Chen hastily followed along, but the pressure was incredibly strong, and their speed was greatly impacted. Boom. Just as they were about to get near it, the skeleton suddenly trembled, and a blue light appeared on its forehead. An almost crystal-like bone appeared. That bone is its devil core, but then how are we supposed to take it out? I don't think this fellow will be very cooperative. Looking at that huge skeleton slowly moving, Long Chen's scalp felt numb. He felt as if he was currently doing something extremely crazy. It seemed he was not the only crazy person in this world. I don't know. Let's just fight and see, said Yu Ziaokian with some embarrassment. She had only entered the Jiuli secret realm to test her luck. She hadn't really expected to find devil cores here. So she immediately blushed when she heard Long Chen's question. All right then. Long Chen almost stumbled. 
Yu Ziaokian's image of being a great expert was immediately torn down. The two of them had only just approached the skeleton when a red light shone from within its two deep eye sockets. It was as if this devil had opened its eyes. It glared at them, and a large bone claw smashed down towards them. Dodge. Don't take it head on, warned Yu Ziaokian. Her figure suddenly became illusory. She was like a wisp of smoke, dodging to the side. Long Chen didn't need Yu Ziaokian's warning. He also shot to the side. But under this terrifying pressure, it was like he was stuck in water, and he was clearly less nimble than usual. Despite doing his best, that claw was too large, and it struck him, slamming him into the ground that was harder than steel. A large crater formed. Long Chen, cried out Yu Ziaokian. She hadn't expected Long Chen to not dodge. The two-winged devil man raised its claw, revealing Long Chen miserably lying on the ground. His robes were in tatters now, making him appear especially destitute. Hurry and dodge. Yu Ziaokian was startled to see another claw crashing down. This time its strength and speed were around ten times greater than the last attack. Perhaps it was because the two-winged devil man had only just awoken, but it seemed it needed to get accustomed to its own power gradually. This second attack could easily crush bone forging experts. I want to dodge too, but I can't. Do you think everyone has such a bizarre movement technique like you? Seeing Yu Ziaokian's worry, Long Chen shouted. Don't worry about me. I'll face it directly and you think of a way to extract its devil core. Devil decapitator swung out, filling the darkness with golden light, slashing onto the claw. Boom. Long Chen was sent flying by the collision, slamming into a boulder. He felt a pain like his body was about to collapse. His inner organs were heavily impacted, practically displacing within him. Long Chen truly was horrified now, without any flesh or blood. This skeleton was able to move so powerfully with just a bit of spiritual strength. If it was able to release such a powerful attack now, then just how powerful had this two-winged devil man been when it had been alive? Star Moon Slash Yu Ziaokian had jumped into the air while Long Chen had blocked the two-winged devil man's attack. Her sword cut a crescent moon image as it slashed out. That moon image was 300 meters long and sliced through the void. It was like the Grim Reaper's sickle heavily slashing into that one remaining bone that connected the two-winged devil man's head to the rest of its body. With a powerful explosion, a part of that bone broke into pieces. However, even under that terrifying attack, only a portion of it had been completely shattered. It hadn't been enough to completely decapitate it. The two-winged devil man's half-corpse spun around, two claws continuously attacking Yu Ziaokian. The only thing she could do was dodge to the best of her ability. She didn't dare take these attacks head-on. Long Chen suddenly realized that Yu Ziaokian was specialized in attacking. Her physical body and defensive ability weren't particularly high. She could only rely on her shocking techniques. Storm Slash. Suddenly, Long Chen roared and Devil Decapitator emitted a huge ray of light that slashed onto the two-winged devil man. But he had never imagined that this two-winged devil man skeleton was able to sense his attack. And giving up on Yu Ziaokian, it sent a claw crashing at it. His saber image was destroyed by the two-winged devil man's claw. Long Chen's own attacks were unable to endure even one of its strikes. Ziaokian, I'll draw its attention, and you focus on launching sneak attacks. Try to aim at the same place as last time. Long Chen once more sent out saber light. However, this time, Long Chen knew what to do, and this attack didn't contain his actual saber blade, but simply his saber key. The two-winged devil man instinctively reacted to Long Chen's saber key destroying it with an attack. But in this way, the destroyed Saber Key wouldn't impact Long Chen at all. He could continuously release this Saber Key to draw its attention. After all, this two-winged devil man was already dead. It didn't have any true intelligence, and could only instinctively attack. Yu Ziaokian was delighted that Long Chen had found its weak point so quickly. She snuck behind the two-winged devil man and once more sent out a crescent moon slash. Although he was busy distracting the two-winged devil man, Long Chen still managed to see her attack clearly this time. When Yu Ziaokian used this ability of hers, she used an extremely odd kind of energy that was different from the energy Long Chen used in his battle skills. There was no omen at all of her attack before she launched it. It was no wonder why the two-winged devil man always just stared as she attacked. It was unable to sense her attacks. Yu Ziaokian's attack accurately landed on the same place as her last attack. That thick neck bone was finally unable to endure and shattered apart. The large skull fell to the ground. Chapter 396 Immortal Characters Translator Born to be with the final attack from Yu Ziaokian, the two-winged devil man's skull tumbled to the ground. 
That huge skull crashed loudly on the head. However, what shocked Long Chen was that even after losing its body, this skull continued to crazily attack Long Chen. Its sharp teeth frantically snapped down, but without a body to support it, it was practically like a frog, just randomly struggling in its original position. It was a startling sight, but it was also a comical one. But although it was somewhat comical, seeing those sharp teeth continuously snapping down, Long Chen still retreated a couple steps. Although there was no way for it to bite him, if he somehow was, that mouth would definitely crush him. What should we do now? Asked Long Chen. Ah, uh, I don't really know. Yu Ziaokian was extremely embarrassed, and she didn't even dare look at Long Chen's expression. As for Long Chen, his expression truly did turn very lifeless. He was filled with disbelief. You didn't make any preparations at all before coming here to obtain devil cores. You can't blame me. I only came here to test my luck. I really never thought I would actually encounter a devil core in a tiny space like the Jiuli secret realm. The current her no longer had any of her previous expert air. Instead, she seemed like a bewildered little girl. Yu Ziaokian had only ended up coming to the Jiuli secret realm because her clan had sent her out as a tempering experience. They actually didn't have any hopes for her to bring back a devil core. That kind of reason really is amazing. Long Chen gave her two thumbs up. But what he wanted to say was that her intelligence really didn't match up to her cultivation base. But even if he said it, it wouldn't help. He couldn't offend her like that. Especially since she had saved his life. He couldn't express his gratitude like that. He just watched as that skull crazily snapped its teeth over and over. He didn't dare approach it. But this kind of deadlock was no solution. Long Chen finally took a deep breath, clenched his teeth, and took out a golden page. Under the control of his spiritual strength, the golden page turned into a ray of light and began to cut into its forehead. With a very clear slicing sound, the golden page cut through the devil core's bone, dropping the devil core onto the ground. Only then did the skull stop moving. He used the golden page to pick up the devil core and brought it flying back. Here, Long Chen handed the devil core to a shocked Yu Ziaokian. You have a soul item. Yu Ziaokian looked at Long Chen with shock. Soul item? What's that? Long Chen was slightly startled. It seemed he had heard of that term before. Yu Ziaokian received the devil core from Long Chen. Feeling the incomparably powerful energy within it, she was filled with excitement. Thank you Long Chen. Cough. When you talk, can it not be a one-way conversation? What is a soul item? Coughed Long Chen awkwardly. Ah, sorry. I was too excited. Yu Ziaokian finished playing with the Devil Core. She once more activated her curtain of light so that the two of them no longer needed to resist the pressure, and the two of them withdrew their auras. Let's first find a place to rest. After that great battle, they had exhausted quite a bit of energy while also resisting the pressure. Resting first was the smart decision. The two of them found a secluded corner. Yu Ziaokian turned to Long Chen. Can you let me see your treasure? Although the treasure Yu Ziaokian was referring to was obviously the golden page. For some reason, he couldn't stop thinking of what else it could mean. And his face turned a bit hot. One, rogue, scolded Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen looked at her in shock. How was this woman able to easily see through other people's thoughts? That was too terrifying. Hand it over. Yu Ziaokian extended her hand. Cough. Here, Long Chen hastily handed over the golden page. But inside. He was a bit apprehensive, as this was a priceless treasure. If she got greedy, it really would be troublesome. Don't worry, I, Yu Ziaokian, am not that kind of shameless person, she said with some displeasure. That was definitely something bizarre about this woman. Long Chen's heart shook. He could sense a kind of baffling energy prying into his inner heart. That wasn't soul energy, nor was it any other kind of energy Long Chen knew. But it was as if all of his thoughts were laid bare in front of Yu Ziaokian. He secretly circulated the nine-star hegemon body art. What gave him a pleasant surprise was that as the nine-star hegemon body art circulated, that feeling faded. No one is prying into your secrets. It's just your expression and eyes that sell you out. Yu Ziaokian glanced at Long Chen and shook her head. Cough. Let's get back to the main point. What did you mean by soul item? Long Chen really didn't want to stay on this topic. A woman that was too smart really was troublesome. He preferred the previous Yu Ziaokian that was at a loss for what to do rather than this version of her that was like a wily fox. Soul items are generally the special weapons of soul cultivators. Their power is frightening, but the material to make them is incredibly rare. Thus, soul items are even rare. As for this soul item of yours, eh? This isn't a soul item. 
Uzziokian spiritual strength swept over the golden page, and astonishment filled her eyes. Turning over the golden page, she was filled with amazement. Immortal characters, you recognize these characters. Long Chen was both shocked and delighted. He had never thought Yu Ziaokian would be able to recognize these characters. Immortal characters, that was the script from the Immortal Era. It was said that the Immortal Era was the time of gods and immortals. People had immortal techniques and divine energy. With a wave of a hand, mountains formed and seas shifted. The heavens fell and the earth rose. But that era was something from far too long ago. In fact, it was already so distant from the current era that people couldn't believe it as fact. The immortal era was already just myth and legend. Even the comparatively closer ancient era had almost become myth at this point. There were many things that were said to have existed in the ancient era that had just become stories. From the immortal era, to the ancient era, to the current era, far too many things had been lost. It was as if the world had experienced something, and the cultivation culture had been mercilessly severed. The cultivators from the current era could only do their best to study the remnants of what had been left behind from that time. The current era could be accurately traced up to around several million years ago, but the ancient era was something that had occurred tens of millions of years ago, and only a few ancient vestiges remained Novaloon.com as for the immortal era, that was something from hundreds of millions, billions, or perhaps simply an innumerable number of years ago, it was something that only existed in legends, people were unable to even agree whether or not that era had ever truly existed. Long Chen had never imagined that this golden page had immortal characters written onto it, and most amazing of all, it seemed Yu Ziaokian was able to recognize them. Yu Ziaokian didn't continue looking at the page. Instead, she turned to Long Chen, solemnly saying, Long Chen, this page very likely contains some kind of secret that could shake all of heaven and earth. If I help you translate it, that means I will also know that secret. Are you sure you want me to translate it? Where did that come from? No matter what, we can count as companions that have suffered through trials and tribulations together. I trust you. Furthermore, if you don't translate it for me, where am I going to find someone else to do it for me? Sharing the knowledge with you can be proof of our companionship. Smiled Long Chen. Don't regret it in the future. The secrets of the immortal era can cause the collapse of heaven and earth. Countless sects would go crazy for it. Yu Ziaokian warned Long Chen once again. Hey, don't be so overly cautious. Just get to translating, said Long Chen a bit impatiently. Just who could possibly recognize characters from the immortal era? If people actually recognized immortal characters, then why would people still call into question the existence of the immortal era? Would people still think that immortals and gods were just legends? Yu Ziaokian was incredibly mysterious. Long Chen felt that her background had to be terrifying. Although her experience was practically zero, her actual skills were amazing. All right. I'll translate it for you. Seeing Long Chen was so straightforward, Yu Ziaokian was both grateful and excited. She turned to focus on the characters. Even after a long time of studying the page, Yu Ziaokian still hadn't moved. Long Chen couldn't help urging her onwards, thinking she was being shy. Are you translating or not? What are you so impatient for? Immortal characters are incomparably profound. Different handwriting and different line placement will all create vastly different meanings. If you don't understand, then just obediently shut your mouth. Yu Ziaokian actually became angry when Long Chen broke her concentration. Long Chen was stunned, as this was his first time seeing Yu Ziaokian get angry. He shut his mouth, not making another sound. What Long Chen did not know was that immortal characters could not be read in the same way as characters from the current era. A single character had countless meanings, and to create an accurate translation was extremely difficult. It was very likely that you would translate one line's meaning, only to find that when you tried to translate the next line, you would have to throw out that translation and try again. Yu Ziaokian had translated a portion, only to be interrupted by Long Chen. Immortal characters were incredibly taxing and consumed soul energy to read. You had to continuously keep the meanings of each word in your head as you attempted to pierce them together. Now that she was interrupted by Long Chen, all that work had been wasted and she had to start from the beginning. Furthermore, Long Chen was just standing to the side without doing anything, but he had to criticize her. Even someone with a better temperament would get angry. The fact she hadn't given him a harsh beating was already very courteous of her. An hour later, Long Chen saw that Yu Ziaokian was starting to sweat. Only now did he realize that translating immortal characters was not as easy as he had thought. That both startled and excited him. 
Now he really wanted to know just what was written on this golden page. After two hours, Yu Ziaokian was sweating even more profusely. She seemed to be filled with pain, but she still clenched her teeth and continued. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. With his profound understanding of pill arts, he could instantly tell that this was happening because Yu Ziaokian was exhausting too much of her spiritual strength. He hesitated for a moment, and then placed a hand on her back. Pure soul energy slowly flowed into her. The two of them weren't extremely familiar with each other, so Long Chen didn't dare directly insert his soul energy into Yu Ziaokian's mind. See, that could cause a misunderstanding. Unless two people completely trusted each other, no one would permit another person's soul energy into their mind. See, like that. That was equivalent to placing your life in another person's hands. But by passing his soul energy through her body, Yu Ziaokian could take the initiative as to whether or not she wanted to absorb it. The initiative was all in her hands, and so this wouldn't cause any misunderstanding. With the nourishment of Long Chen's soul energy, Yu Ziaokian's expression improved slightly. She continued focusing completely on translating those characters. After six hours, when even Long Chen was starting to feel a bit exhausted, she finally sighed and turned around, looking straight at Long Chen. Congratulations, this is definitely a peerless treasure. Chapter 397 Ethereal Crafting Secret Record Translator Born to be Long Chen couldn't help but celebrate. What kind of treasure? Is it a cultivation technique or a battle skill? Even his voice quivered slightly. If this was a cultivation technique or battle skill that had come from the immortal era, then wouldn't it be heaven defying? This page's name is the Ethereal Crafting Secret Record. It's a marvelous remnant of the immortal era. Yu Ziaokian's eyes were filled with amazement as she looked at the golden page. Hey, don't keep me in suspense. Is this ethereal crafting secret record a cultivation technique or battle skill? Long Chen's eyes were practically glowing. Yu Ziaokian glanced at Long Chen. He could see that her gaze was filled with contempt for him. He was startled. What had he said wrong? This ethereal crafting secret record isn't a cultivation technique or battle skill. It is a sacred canon on forging items. Yu Ziaokian was filled with admiration for this page. Forging? Are you messing with me? Long Chen's expression became unsightly. Even this thing was considered a treasure? He really did feel messed with. You. You really are unreasonable. Raged Yu Ziaokian. This ethereal crafting secret record contains all the countless techniques and arts of a forging master from the immortal era. Those kinds of skills have long since disappeared. Its value is inestimable. If the ethereal crafting secret record spread, then the entire world would go crazy. There would not be able a single power that would remain indifferent to it. It's this valuable. Suddenly, Long Chen slapped his own leg. Isn't this precisely what that little brat Guo Ran needs right now? I actually forgot about him. Previously, Long Chen had used the golden page to fight. Due to its incomparable sharpness, he had subconsciously assumed that whatever was recorded on it had to be related to battle. It seemed he had misunderstood. I really can't bother to talk to you. Yu Ziaokian felt like Long Chen's intelligence really was no longer on the same level as her. Could such a priceless treasure be described as just valuable? That was practically blasphemy. Come over here. Yu Ziaokian beckoned coldly. For what? Long Chen's guard rose. Are you planning on hitting me? That was because Yu Ziaokian was now clearly a bit different than before. Long Chen felt more and more that this woman was dangerous. Yu Ziaokian, who had been angrily glaring, couldn't help laughing when she saw Long Chen's doubtful and careful gaze. Why would I hit you? Come over so I can transmit the immortal characters to you. Although only a part of her face was revealed. Seeing that mirth in Yu Ziaokian's eyes, Long Chen hastily studied his mental state and approached. Immortal characters are different from the characters of the current era. Each word contains its own artistic concept. When immortal characters are combined together, they form a continuous image. Such immortal characters cannot be transmitted through simple paper. It can only be carved onto spiritual material like soul gold essence. So the only way I can transmit the translated images to you is mentally. Don't move. Yu Ziaokian extended her hand and placed it on Long Chen's forehead. At this time, Long Chen was extremely close to her. He could smell her fragrance. He could feel her breath. The most relaxing thing to him was when her hand touched his forehead. That kind of satiny feeling made him feel as if all his pores had opened. You trust me this much. Yu Ziaokian saw that Long Chen didn't have any defense towards her, even when her finger touched the space between his eyebrows. At this distance, if Yu Ziaokian wanted to, Long Chen definitely wouldn't be able to stop her from killing him. 
Long Chen smiled slightly and didn't reply. Ever since he had started cultivating in the Nine Star Hegemon body art, he no longer trusted his eyes. Instead, he trusted his intuition. Up to this point, his intuition had never failed him once. He trusted that his intuition was able to differentiate good and evil far better than his eyesight. Thank you. After softly saying that, Yu Ziaokian closed her eyes. Spiritual strength slowly poured from her finger into the space between Long Chen's eyebrows. As Yu Ziaokian's spiritual strength poured into his mind see, Long Chen began to see an image. That image contained an elder who was constantly hammering something. That hammering posture and strength, as well as just the arc and cores, all contained various variations. Long Chen truly was unable to see through the profundities behind this scene. This scene began to move. A portion of the scene was forging. A portion of the scene was some marvelous blueprints. And there was also a portion containing the runes carved onto the items forged by this elder. Buzz. Suddenly, that elder thrust a sword he had just finished carving runes onto into the sky. It cut apart heaven and earth, revealing a sky full of stars. Immortal characters. Long Chen was shocked by this scene. He finally understood why Yu Ziaokian had looked at him with such a gaze. Previously. He had always been looking down on the forging Dao. The understanding and learning required for forging items was far, far more profound than he had imagined. After that sword from the image had been inscribed with runes, it seemed to come to life, possessing its own life aura. That attack had even contained its own specific will. The images in his head faded. He heard Yu Ziaokian's voice. Use spiritual strength to seal these images in your head so that you won't forget them. If you don't, then when you try to examine them later, they will become chaotic and muddied. Long Chen hastily used his spiritual strength to seal these images in his head. This was extremely simple for him, as some pill formulas also had to be remembered in this manner. Thank you. This thing really is. Very. Cough. It's great. Long Chen almost once more said it was just valuable. Yu Ziaokian shook her head, obviously having seen through what Long Chen had been thinking. After hesitating for a moment, she asked with great embarrassment. Long Chen. Can I discuss something with you? What? Long Chen said extremely straightforward. This. This ethereal crafting secret record. Can I bring it back to give to my clan? Yu Ziaokian asked with great apprehensiveness of course. Long Chen didn't understand. Really she was surprised and delighted. Of course. Furthermore. You've already memorized the ethereal crafting secret record. So it's not like I would know if you transmitted it to anyone. Laughed Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian's delight faded replaced with solemnness. Long Chen, although I might know what's contained in the ethereal crafting secret record, I definitely wouldn't tell anyone without your permission. You don't have to be so serious. That's just my clan's beliefs. Ah, just stop. I'm not suited to such solemn conversation. If it hadn't been for your help translating it, it's not like I would have learned this secret either. So we'll split this secret up evenly. Based on our mutual contribution, we'll get mutual benefits. So let's stop that discussion here. Long Chen really didn't like this kind of solemn dialogue, especially not with a beautiful woman. Thank you Long Chen. To tell the truth, this ethereal crafting secret record might be able to rejuvenate my clan. So it's extremely important. Really. Thank you. Said Yu Ziaokian sincerely. Don't be so courteous. Speaking of which, didn't you say that this golden page was made of soul gold essence? Yes. There are few metals that can be controlled by the soul like this. As for this particular page, it was made of soul gold whose quality is extremely high. Unfortunately, it hasn't been forged into anything, and there are no runes carved onto it, so it can't count as a soul item. Otherwise, a soul cultivator wielding such a high-grade soul item could easily kill cultivators of the same realm. Even just as it is, it will still be able to release a certain amount of power if you used spiritual strength to control it. However, that power is limited. Furthermore, if soul gold enters flesh, that will block its ability to sense soul energy. So its power against magical beasts is especially limited. Not only that, but when you fight with other humans, because it is not a soul item and is essentially an ownerless item, it can easily be disturbed by other people's spiritual strength. Explained Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen was shocked by how learned Yu Ziaokian was. She was practically a know-it-all. She was definitely one of those bookworm cultivators. However, when fighting with people, if they are unprepared and you use it as a surprise attack, no one will be able to block it. Only something that has reached the level of a Xi'anchen weapon would be able to block being cut by soul gold. 
Yu Xiaokian handed the golden page back to Long Chen. Receiving the page, Long Chen was filled with admiration for her. Just this kind of learning was something that would make Long Chen prostrate himself towards her. As for that Xianchen weapon she spoke of, those were the specialized weapons for Xianchen experts. They were able to bear Xianchen power and capable of releasing a mountain crushing power. However, only Xianchen experts had the qualifications to use them. Up to this point, there had been nothing that had been able to stand up to the sharpness of this golden page. Of course, the flesh of magical beasts was an exception. Let's continue onwards. It seems like there should still be other two winged devil man skeletons inside, which means more devil cores, suggested Long Chen. Yu Xiaokian gratefully said, These devil cores are very important to me, so thank you. If it hadn't been for Long Chen's golden page, she really wouldn't have been able to find any way to handle the two winged devil man skeleton. Even if she managed to cut it down to just a head, there would have been no way for her to subdue it. Now with Long Chen's assistance, she didn't have to feel so vexed at being powerless. After advancing 30 miles, they once more encountered a two-winged devil man skeleton. This time the skeleton was complete, so it would definitely be more difficult to deal with than the previous one. Yu Xiaokian couldn't help being a bit nervous. Should we do it the same way as last time? She asked. But after she finished saying that, she saw that Long Chen's expression was extremely odd as he looked at her. She asked, What is it? Your battle experience and your knowledge are completely mismatched. So I really don't understand you. Long Chen shook his head. You, don't misunderstand. I have no intention of looking down on you. I just feel like it's a bit bizarre. If you have a good method, then just say it. Don't curse people in a roundabout method. Yu Xiaokian really was angry. Long Chen's gaze was insulting. Is this your first time going out for a tempering experience? Asked Long Chen suddenly. How did you know? Oh, Long Chen was a bit speechless. For her first adventure, she had ended up coming to a dangerous place like the Jiuli Secret Realm. He really had no idea what to say. It was no wonder her battle experience was practically zero. 3,000 meters away from the skeleton, Long Chen used his spiritual strength to send the golden page flying towards the corpse. It's useless. If we don't go over, it wouldn't disturb the devil man's corpse. So the devil core won't pop out of its forehead. Your golden page isn't a true soul item. So there's no way it can cut through its skull like that. Its skull is even comparable to Xianchen weapons, whispered Yu Xiaokian. Long Chen ignored her. Once the golden page arrived in front of the devil man's forehead, it began to rapidly spin like a pinwheel. Long Chen then slowly approached, as he knew would happen. The skeleton suddenly moved when he reached a distance of 1500 meters. The space between its eyebrows suddenly split open, revealing a crystalline core. At the same time, the skeleton began to stand up, slash, with the power of his spiritual strength. The rapidly revolving golden page slashed onto the protruding devil core. Chapter 398 A Mountain of Skeletons Translator Born to be crack, the skull split open, the devil core falling from its forehead. The rest of the huge skeleton collapsed without the support of the devil core. Looking at the collapsed skeleton, Yu Xiaokian was shocked. You handled it so easily. Long Chen almost stumbled. She was startled over such a simple method? Long Chen even suspected she was purposely trying to mess with him. With the thought of his spiritual strength, the devil core dropped into his hand. This time, he specially used his spiritual strength to sense the energy within it. He found the devil core was filled with a brutal and savage intent. That kind of intent only contained a desire to massacre and destroy. Here, Long Chen handed the devil core to Yu Xiaokian. Yu Xiaokian carefully looked at Long Chen. Do you want to ask me any questions? No, another lie. You are clearly extremely curious, and you are also heavily on guard. My mother was right. The outside world's people really are all hypocrites, snorted Yu Xiaokian. Long Chen rolled his eyes. It seemed she had once more returned to her smart self. He retorted, if you placed that kind of intelligence on fighting, you would be unrevealed. More lies. My mother said that the reason experts are able to become experts is because they have the heart to get stronger. If they relied on intelligence to resolve their problems instead of trusting in their own strength, they would never get any stronger, refuted Yu Xiaokian. This time Long Chen was startled. It seemed Yu Xiaokian's mother's thoughts were identical to Long Chen's. If an expert wanted to get stronger, they couldn't rely entirely on smarts. They had to be more confident in their body than their head. Only then could they get stronger. That was what it meant to have a warrior's heart. Although it sounded a bit contradictory, 
Long Chen had believed in that theory the entire time. In the face of these schemes against him, he could have thought of an appropriate method to resolve them. However, if he then formed a dependence on his intelligence, using brains to resolve all his disputes, then that courageous heart of his would be quietly worn down, eventually becoming obliterated. That was just the lazy way to handle things. So in the face of these schemes, Long Chen had never tried to fight them with smarts. He would use his fists to crush his opponent's schemes. What he wanted was absolute strength. In the face of absolute strength, all schemes and plotting were just transient clouds. Your mother is definitely an amazing expert, praised Long Chen. Of course, my mother is the devil. Yu Ziaokian was happy to hear Long Chen's praise of his mother, but halfway through her statement, she shut her mouth. Let's continue onwards, smiled Long Chen. Long Chen, are you not afraid of me? I'm not afraid. Long Chen shook his head. I can be afraid of anything in this world, but not a girl. You don't even know why I'm gathering devil cores, nor do you know my background. But you refuse to be afraid of me hurting you. Don't you know mind reading? Can't you tell? Laughed Long Chen. Of course I don't know how to read minds. The only thing I can do is judge a person's mental thoughts by their eyes, expression, breath, heartbeat, body heat, and spiritual fluctuations. What? It's this complicated? Why would you bother learning all this? So you can be a fortune teller for others. Long Chen didn't understand. What nonsense. Whose fortune would I tell? My mother said that the outside world is extremely treacherous, and words never reveal the inner heart. Everyone is two-faced, vicious and merciless, agreeing with you on the outside in order to stab you in the back. She refused to let me come out adventuring before learning these things, said Yu Ziaokian with a bit of vexation. Your mother was entirely correct. Whether it is the righteous or corrupt path, they're all treacherous and cruel people who tell you honeyed words before stabbing you through the stomach. The righteous path is especially dangerous in that aspect, sighed Long Chen. Long Chen's words contained a profound self-mocking. He was a righteous disciple, but the ones who wanted him dead the most were actually his fellow righteous disciples. That was quite the irony. In comparison to the corrupt path's cruelty and malevolence, it was the righteous path's crafty scheming, their ability to kill others without even doing anything personally, that made people shiver. That was because the corrupt path actually rarely stabbed people in the back. They were savage, but their competition was always fought openly. It was survival of the strongest, the law of the jungle. But the righteous path wasn't like that. All kinds of contemptible schemes were everywhere, and there were many unwritten rules. People in power blocked the path of many geniuses, as anyone that could threaten their position had to be quietly eliminated. Just thinking of the first monastery's conduct, Long Chen was filled with fury. Then there was also that pair of bastards Han Shian Iyu and Han Shian Feng. Their debt to him would have to be properly repaid. Long Chen, are you a bad person? Yu Ziaokian was curious why Long Chen would actually agree with her mother's words. Wouldn't that be including himself in that category? Yup, I'm a bad person. And in the future, I'll get more and more bad. Why? Even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. Our minds aren't on the same frequency. Long Chen shook his head. He had figured out what kind of person Yu Ziaokian was. Although her origin was definitely puzzling, and her power was unfathomable, she was still a rookie, an amateur who hadn't experienced anything of the world. Compared to an old fox like Long Chen who had fought his way through calamity multiple times, they really were not on the same level. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to waste his breath explaining all this to her. But no matter how he put it, she was someone who had saved his life. This favor had to be repaid. And since she needed devil cores, Long Chen would help her gather them. As for her origin, Long Chen didn't care. Since she refused to say, that meant she had her own secret troubles. Forcefully getting to the bottom of her secrets wasn't Long Chen's style. All right then, but I don't feel like you're that bad, said Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen almost laughed. Why did that sentence sound so awkward? If he wasn't that bad, didn't that mean he was still pretty bad? It seemed she didn't understand what Long Chen had truly meant when he called himself a bad person. Long Chen was also too lazy to explain it, and so the two of them simply continued onward in silence. A bend in the path appeared in front of them. After making their way past the bend, they suddenly saw a pile of skeletons. There had to be hundreds of them, forming a mountain of bones. Both Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian jumped in fright. They hadn't expected to see such a scene. In front of that pile of skeletons was an empty space. Within that empty space was another skeleton, but this skeleton was only three meters tall. After all these countless years, 
its clothes and flesh had long since disappeared. That entire skeleton was a bronze color, looking as if it had been made of metal. Its body emitted a powerful pressure. Even though they were miles away, they could still sense the powerful will coming from the skeleton. Its will was like a surging ocean. The skeleton was holding a blood-colored saber that had been stabbed into the ground. Despite having died long ago, it was still just standing there, emitting a torrential battle intent. What powerful willpower. Long Chen was stupefied. There was actually such a terrifying expert in this world. Could it be that the surrounding two winged devilmen were all killed by this one person, and that as a result, this person had run out of energy, also dying in the process? That person should be a warrior from the barbarian race of the ancient era. They were called the Ten Planar World's Strongest Warriors. Each one of them was unspeakably brave, and their combat ability was enough to shake the heavens, muttered Yu Ziaokian, who was also stunned to see that skeleton. I'm not referring to the so-called barbarian tribes of yours. Back when the world was flourishing, at the very beginning, seven great races were born, and they were one of them. Their ancestor was a god who was called the barbarian god. This world really has gods. Yu Ziaokian hesitated for a moment, but in the end, she spit out a single word. Yes, that one word caused huge waves in Long Chen's heart. So there really were gods in this world. Then, were the legends true? Back in the immortal era, gods were everywhere? With a wave of their hands, stars shattered and the entire ten planar worlds could be destroyed? If that was true, then that dream he had had wasn't a baseless fantasy. In that dream, he had seen a man, or perhaps more accurately a god, fighting an incredibly powerful beast within the stars. Thank you. Your answer was extremely important to me. Long Chen was extremely grateful. This let him confirm a certain theory. The nine star hegemon body art was not an ordinary technique for cultivators, but a divine technique. Perhaps as long as he continued to bitterly train in the nine star hegemon body art, he would one day reach godhood. His blood raced when he thought of that scene with the man whose divine ring burst apart the heavens, who could destroy the void with a wave of his hand. That dream was true. Let's leave. Yu Ziaokian nodded with a smile. Leave? Why? You don't want those devil cores? There's too many skeletons here, and they're too close together. We can't handle them one by one, so we can only give up. Otherwise, we'll end up throwing away our lives. Yu Ziaokian shook her head. Although she felt great longing for those devil cores, she had the intelligence to give up on them. If they activated all these skeletons, the two of them would definitely die a tragic end. Giving up like this isn't my style. Long Chen, don't take such risks. No matter how precious something is, you still need your life to enjoy it, advised Yu Ziaokian. But, Long Chen really was unwilling. Thank you Long Chen, but just two devil cores is already enough for me. It can at least resolve part of the desperate situation in my clan, said Yu Ziaokian gratefully. She really hadn't thought Long Chen would be so loyal to her. These devil cores were extremely important to her, but she had already given up on them. However, Long Chen was actually willing to brave this danger to get this many devil cores for her. She really was incomparably grateful. Ah, but it's not enough for me. I want that saber. Long Chen was unwillingly staring at that blood-colored saber, a fervent passion burning in his eyes. You, scoundrel. Only now did Yu Ziaokian realize she had misjudged him. She reached out a hand and gave Long Chen's arm a vicious pinch. Aya, what's wrong with you? Long Chen felt an incomparable pain from his arm. He didn't know what energy Yu Ziaokian was using but she was actually able to ignore the power of his physical body, causing him to feel incredible pain. Sweeping over his divine sense, he saw a large bruise. You, seeing Long Chen get angry, Yu Ziaokian felt wrong, and a wet mist appeared in her eyes. My mother really was right. The outside world's people really are all scoundrels. You're also a bad person. Yu Ziaokian actually began crying. Long Chen really hadn't expected that just his mouth would be able to cause this woman who was unimaginably powerful, to cry. Hey, hey, don't cry. Here, as my apology, I'll do my best to think of a way to get you more devil cores. All right, really? I guess you have a conscience. Yu Ziaokian's tears turned into smiles. Long Chen was speechless. This woman was outrageously powerful. But why did she seem like a child? The two of them slowly continued onward. Long Chen's target was a skeleton on the outer perimeter of that pile. Chapter 399 The Bronze Skeleton Translator Born to be Long Chen Do you really want to take this risk? Looking at that mountain of skeletons, Yu Ziaokian's scalp felt numb. Can you please not try to scare me? I'm scared enough as it is. 
This is a really painful choice, said Long Chen bitterly. Since you're afraid to, let's leave. Yu Ziaokian was happy to leave, as she was actually very afraid now. No one would want to disturb this many to winged devil man skeletons, let alone them. Even Xianchen experts would be crushed to a pulp. But I really am afraid of losing that saber. That degrieve me so much. I'd wish I were dead. Sighed Long Chen. Let me just tell you the truth. The real reason I have to risk my life like this is because I have an incurable disease. An incurable disease? Don't scare me. I'm not trying to scare you. This disease's name is called see a treasure and can't walk away disease. Unfortunately, there's no cure. Sighed Long Chen helplessly. That's called greed. Yu Ziaokian really hadn't expected Long Chen to be in the mood to joke around at such a tense time. Sigh. Some things you just can't understand. Only people with this disease know its pain. Looking at that blood-colored saber that was stabbed into the ground, Long Chen was filled with a burning fervor that made his heart itch. Although the saber was very far, it emitted a bloody key that seemed as if it could break apart the heavens. Just from that chilling feeling, it had to be a practically divine weapon. Furthermore, Long Chen was a master at using the saber. To just leave such a precious saber lying there all alone made him feel worse than being killed. So despite knowing it was very dangerous, Long Chen still wanted to try. However, those many skeletons also gave him chills. And so he begged Yu Ziaokian not to further attack his already shaken confidence. Buzz. No good. Three to winged devilmen were alarmed at the same time. Long Chen had advanced very slowly. His goal to just target one of the skeletons. However, the two skeletons beside it also awoke. Run. Long Chen led Yu Ziaokian fleeing away. These three newly awakened to winged devilman skeletons chased after the two of them extremely quickly. There's a way. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. These three skeletons were all broken. One of them only had its upper body, so it was much slower. As for the other two, one had no arms, while one only had one leg. Since they weren't complete skeletons, Long Chen could come up with a way to handle them. Ziaokian, you go draw away the two without both legs. We'll handle them one by one, said Long Chen. How am I supposed to draw them away? Yu Ziaokian was extremely nervous. Fucking hell. Long Chen almost coughed blood. Just what level of intelligence was this? Long Chen wanted to curse her, but he endured. If you run up to those two skeletons, they'll automatically be drawn towards you. You don't need to attack them. Just run around and wait for me to handle my skeleton. I will come help you after I defeaturing me target. Understood. Long Chen explained it extremely simply to her. He really was afraid of this girl screwing up something simple now. Okay. Yu Ziaokian seemed to have sensed Long Chen's dissatisfaction. So her voice contained some grievance. She slowed down, allowing two of the skeletons to approach her. And as Long Chen had said, those two immediately began to rush at her. Yu Ziaokian was delighted. Long Chen. I did it. As for Long Chen. He had already led his skeleton further away. He had just been about to attack it when he heard her delighted voice, causing him to almost cough blood again. If you succeeded, then you succeeded. Did you have to shout so suddenly? Just now, Long Chen had thought she had fallen into danger and been given a fright because of her shout. This two winged devil man skeleton didn't have its arms. A large foot came stomping at Long Chen. With a snort, Long Chen jumped, avoiding its foot, and slashing his saber onto its ankle. Long Chen's powerful attack had been aimed cleverly. He didn't hit it head on, but instead used its own power to force its leg forward. With Long Chen's assistance, the skeleton ended up falling flat on the ground. Without any flesh, there was no way for it to maintain its balance, and its head slammed on the ground. Before it could get up, Devil Decapitator was already slashing down. Crack. Long Chen's attack severed its neck. Long Chen wasn't as foolish as Yu Ziaokian. Instead of attacking the neck bone directly, he aimed for the seam between the bones. The small cracks between bones of these two winged devil man skeletons all had something that looked like ligaments connecting them. Those ligaments weren't as hard as the bones, and after countless years of erosion, they had already decayed. Long Chen's attack only managed to sever its neck because he had accurately aimed it on this ligament material. His golden page flew out, cutting at its forehead. A devil core fell to the ground. Because the two-winged devil man's skeletons were too large and because they would always begin to move while still far away, Long Chen wasn't able to accurately pinpoint the core. Furthermore, controlling the golden page required him to use spiritual strength. That required him to split his attention. But he also didn't dare take the two-winged devil man's attack head-on. So it was better for him to do this safe and steadily. 
Gathering the Devil Core, Long Chen rushed over to where Yu Ziaokian was. At the very least, she hadn't been so stupid as to run in a straight line and end up out of his sight. She was still just running around in circles. His golden page flew through the air, directly slashing onto the crystal core of the two-winged devil man that had no legs and was crawling on the ground. At the same time, Long Chen jumped through the air, his saber slashing heavily onto the other devil man's skeleton's waist. Long Chen's aim was very precise, and Devil Decapitator slashed right through the crack between two bones. The two-winged devil man's skeletons were extremely large, but being large also had its negatives. Those openings between bones were far too obvious and easy to target. The skeleton was cut in two, before its upper body could even budge. Long Chen had already run up its body and cut at its neck. Its large head fell to the ground, but before it even reached the ground, a golden light shot out, and another devil core fell down. The head rolled directly in front of a stunned Yu Ziaokian. At the same time, its devil core landed on top of her foot. Here, Long Chen handed two other devil cores to Yu Ziaokian. Yu Ziaokian looked at Long Chen with shook. How did you do this? How did I do this? Long Chen was expressionless. Did he really need to explain something so obvious? Ah, I got it. You used your saber to cut at the part where two bones meet. That way they'll lose their ability to move. Right. Yu Ziaokian suddenly excitedly grabbed Long Chen. Wow, you really are smart. You even managed to notice this, praised Long Chen, while being speechless inside. I'm not smart. You're smart Long Chen. Why didn't you tell me about this trick before? Then we wouldn't need to be so scared. This counts as a trick? This is just common sense. Long Chen had been completely defeated by Yu Ziaokian's navity. Let's keep going. Now it was Yu Ziaokian's turn to take the initiative. She pulled Long Chen rushing back. Hey, slow down. Are you trying to throw your life away? Yu Ziaokian was running to the pile of skeletons. In just the blink of an eye. She awoke over ten skeletons at once, making Long Chen's face turn green with fright. He didn't even remember to feel her soft hand pulling on him. Having awakened this many to winged devil man skeletons, the two of them would have to flee for their lives. Long Chen was so angry, veins were bulging on his forehead. Suddenly, Yu Ziaokian stopped and unsheathed her sword. A bolt of lightning seemed to flash through the void. Lightning sword. Long Chen was shocked to see that with the wave of Yu Ziaokian's sword. Thousands of rays of light appeared through the void, flying towards those devil man skeletons. Boom. Those rays of light all accurately landed on the spaces between the bones. Although individually they weren't very powerful, with that many of them, this attack easily sliced apart those ligaments, turning those 10 plus skeletons into a pile of scattered bones. Long Chen. I did it. I did it. Yu Ziaokian was incomparably excited that her attack had been effective. Long Chen was dumbfounded as he lifelessly looked at the skulls on the ground. He was completely speechless. He had managed to see her attack clearly just now. That sword light hadn't been made of sword key, but some kind of energy he had never seen before. With a single wave of her sword, over ten to winged devil man skeletons had fallen apart. Just what level of power had her attack reached? Furthermore, thousands of rays of light had all accurately landed on the seams between bones. Just what abnormal level of control did that require? Long Chen had finally experienced just how terrifying Yu Ziaokian was. Her attack strength and her intelligence were not even comparable. This was Long Chen's first time seeing such a monster. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian pulled on him. Only now did he recover from his shock. At the same time, he could feel two warm hands pulling on him. Hurry and take out the devil cores. She had only just said that when she realized she was holding Long Chen's hand in her excitement, she hastily let go in panic, and although he couldn't see her face, Long Chen knew she was blushing, that was because even her ears had turned red, he involuntarily laughed, without saying anything, he used his golden page to cut off their devil cores, the two of them continued using this method to defaturing their enemies, during a single run, they handled 10 to 30 plus devil man skeletons, with just a single attack, Yu Ziaokian was able to handle them all. Her attacks were incredibly sharp. After a full day, Long Chen didn't even remember how many of them they had destroyed. In any case, despite her veil, Yu Ziaokian's smile was becoming more and more bewitching, and her eyes had turned into two crescent moons. He roughly estimated that they had destroyed at least 400 to winged devil man skeletons. In other words, over 400 devil cores had entered Yu Ziaokian's pocket. Boom. The final wave of 30 plus skeletons was slashed apart, and they gathered their devil cores. 
Now the only thing remaining was that bronze-colored skeleton. Looking at the blood-colored saber that was stabbed into the ground, a fire burned in Long Chen's heart. The two of them slowly approached it, but suddenly, that blood-colored saber quivered, and a biting cold-killing intent instantly enveloped the two of them. Chapter 400 Devil Shakes the Sky Translator Born to be that blood-colored saber quivered, and a biting cold-killing intent instantly enveloped the two of them. What shocked Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian the most was that an aura suddenly surged out of the bronze-colored skeleton. That was an aura only a living person could have. The blood-colored saber was pulled out of the ground. Bloody light filled the space, bringing with it endless killing intent that instantly wrapped around the two of them. They felt as if they had fallen into an ice house. That saber had yet to even arrive, but the two of them could already smell a strong scent of death. That was a fatal saber. That saber key filled all of heaven and earth. There was no way to avoid it. The first thing Long Chen did was push Yu Ziaokian out of the way. At the same time, a star appeared within his eyes. All his energy surged out crazily, his aura soaring to its peak in an instant. This was the strongest attack Long Chen had experienced up to this point. He had to use his full strength. Split the heavens, Long Chen shouted. A saber image extended out of Devil Decapitator, slashing onto the skeleton in a courageous and desperate manner. Boom. The ground, which was harder than steel here, exploded, shooting out everywhere. The instant their weapons collided, Devil Decapitator shattered to pieces. As for Long Chen, he crazily vomited blood and was sent flying back. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian quickly shot over to catch him. Idiot, why aren't you running yet? Seeing that Yu Ziaokian hadn't taken that chance to instantly flee, Long Chen furiously cursed her. You're the idiot. Yu Ziaokian's eyes reddened, and she retorted, You clearly know you can't beat it. Since you wouldn't abandon me to escape, I wouldn't abandon you to escape either. Long Chen was speechless. He was surprised this girl had such a strong sense of loyalty. However, this skeleton was too terrifying. Run. He had no time to argue with her. The two of them fled for their lives. You clearly knew this skeleton's origin. Why didn't you warn me that it would awaken? Complained Long Chen. The barbarian race disappeared in the ancient era. The fact I even knew its origin is already not bad. How could I possibly know so many details? Yu Ziaokian felt a bit wrong to have all the blame piled on her. The two of them hadn't fled far when the skeleton caught up to them. It was incredibly fast. Lightning sword. Yu Ziaokian once more used her attack. Thousands of rays of sword light slashed out at that skeleton, aiming for its joints. But with a wave of its saber, terrifying saber key exploded out, shaking heaven and earth, easily destroying Yu Ziaokian's attack. It actually retained its battle consciousness. Both Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian's expressions changed. Back when this skeleton was alive, it had definitely been a terrifying figure. This also seemed to prove that those two winged devilmen were also killed by it. Buzz. It once more slashed out its saber, locking the two of them in place. This time the attack was even more terrifying than last time, and it was as if all of heaven and earth had solidified. The abyss was constantly shuddering, and it was as if the end of the world had come. Long Chen, I can only block a single one of its attacks. You should know what you need to do. Yu Ziaokian suddenly clenched her teeth and pushed out her hand. Long Chen was sent flying out by some bizarre energy, escaping that terrifying lock. What kind of joke is that? Long Chen was both startled and furious. Yu Ziaokian was planning on sacrificing herself so that Long Chen could escape. Suddenly, an illusory image appeared behind Yu Ziaokian, one that looked like a heavenly immortal. At the same time, countless runes lit up atop Yu Ziaokian's body, and all of heaven and earth began to quiver. Ancestral bloodline, hear your descendants call. Grant me my bloodline power. Divine light shone out of Yu Ziaokian's eyes. Following her words, an incredibly powerful aura began to surge out of her, one that caused the ground around her to crumble. Golden lines began to appear over her forehead. As they gradually condensed together, they formed a single word, devil. As soon as that devil character appeared, a powerful energy formed a huge pillar of light that surged into the clouds, causing heaven and earth to shudder. Long Chen was stupefied by that energy. That energy wasn't spiritual key, nor was it any other energy he had ever seen before. As her aura soared, Yu Ziaokian's veil broke apart, revealing a flawlessly beautiful face. But before Long Chen could even get a clear look, Yu Ziaokian raised her sword. Following this movement, all the energy from every direction converged together. At the same time as Yu Ziaokian moved, the illusory figure behind her moved. A sword appeared in its hand, and it followed her movements identically. 
Dense lines appeared in her pupils, and her aura rose to a peak. Devil heart slash. Her sword merged with the sword of the illusory figure behind her, causing her aura to once more explosively rise as her attack slashed towards the skeleton. B-O-O-O-M. Long Chen only just saw Yu Ziaokian's sword collide with the skeleton's saber when he was struck by a terrifying key wave. He felt as if a huge hammer had smashed into his chest, and he shot back like a cannonball smashing into a cliff. That terrifying force caused half the cliff to collapse, and Long Chen felt as if all his bones had broken. But despite his pain, his gaze was still focused on that battle. He saw that Yu Ziaokian also flew back after that world-shaking exchange. After that one attack, the devil character on her forehead disappeared, and her aura instantly fell. That one attack had used up all her energy. As for the skeleton, it was forced back hundreds of meters. It had stabbed its saber into the ground, carving out a long ditch. It had borrowed the power of the ground to stabilize itself. Then it stamped on the ground and shot forward at Yu Ziaokian. Even though she had used a secret art to overdraft her energy, her terrifying attack had been unable to harm the skeleton in the slightest, and a saber now came slashing down on her. Her body was no longer listening to her. She could only watch as that saber came slashing down on her. Suddenly, two arms wrapped around her and brought her rolling to the side. The blood-colored saber just missed their heads. A ditch ten miles long was carved onto the ground. As for Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian, they tumbled back further into the distance. Yu Ziaokian had thought her death to be certain. She hadn't expected that Long Chen hadn't fled. But although she was moved, she also felt sad. The fact that he had stayed behind didn't give her any hope. Instead, he would just be accompanying her as they died. She hadn't expected that amongst all the bad people her mother had told her about, there was a good person like Long Chen who was willing to sacrifice his life for her. I'm sorry Long Chen. I've implicated you. The two of them tumbled into the distance. Yu Ziaokian was quietly sobbing into his chest. What nonsense is that? If it weren't for my greed, you'd have long since left. I'm the one who implicated you. Long Chen tightly held Yu Ziaokian. The current Yu Ziaokian was no longer some expert, but a pitiable and weak girl. Long Chen really was regretful. It was his greed that had pulled him and Yu Ziaokian to the point of despair. Just now when Yu Ziaokian had pushed him away. He really had had a chance to flee, but if he really had fled like that, then he wouldn't be Long Chen. He absolutely refused to let a woman sacrifice herself to block danger for him. Long Chen, we're about to die. I'm glad I get to die with a good person like you. Yu Ziaokian suddenly felt a burst of warmth. What nonsense is that? I still have many more things to do, so I can't die. And since I can't die, I won't die. You just rest. I'll see whether I can find some way to cut it down. Lend me your sword. Long Chen comforted Yu Ziaokian, but he had already rushed over to the skeleton before finishing. Yu Ziaokian felt empty inside. She felt a bit cold after having left Long Chen's embrace. Seeing Long Chen's courageous figure, she was extremely moved. In her heart, perhaps Long Chen wasn't the strongest person, but he was definitely the bravest. In front of an enemy he couldn't possibly defeat, he still didn't show the slightest discouragement. Even in this kind of situation, he still didn't have any intention of giving up. In his heart, there was an undefeatable belief in himself. Even Yu Ziaokian was infected by that. Charging at the skeleton, he dodged its saber and chopped his sword at its knee. He knew this skeleton's power had already surpassed his imagination. Facing it head-on was certain death. Long Chen also didn't hope to be able to defeat Chiringit. As long as he could cut off a leg, that would cause it to lose its speed. And then he and Yu Ziaokian would have some hope of fleeing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as Long Chen planned. This skeleton had retained its battle awareness. It seemed to know what Long Chen was trying to do, and it twisted its leg, causing Long Chen's sword to strike its lower leg bone. Sparks flew along with a metallic ringing. Not only had he not severed its leg, the webbing of his hand was greatly shaken, and he almost lost his grip of the sword. Long Chen was horrified. Just this skeleton without any flesh or blood, one that only retained some fighting instincts was already this terrifying. Then if it were alive, just how terrifying would it be? Long Chen continuously dodged its attacks. However, no matter what he tried, he found this three meter tall skeleton was just too powerful. He was unable to find its weak point. Boom. After repeatedly dodging multiple times, he finally wasn't able to dodge an attack. All he could do was to receive it directly with his sword. That blood colored saber sent Long Chen flying with a terrifying force. The skin on his hand split open, 
and he was finally unable to maintain a grip on his sword. It was sent flying out of his grip. Long Chen tumbled back hundreds of meters. Suddenly, he felt a softness as he was caught by Yu Ziaokian. Only then did he stop. Before Long Chen could even say anything, the skeleton had already charged over. Long Chen extended both hands, flame sword from his left hand, while a ball of lightning appeared in his right hand. He sent both these attacks crashing into the skeleton. The instant his flame and lightning struck the skeleton, two explosions rang out. However, the skeleton didn't have any flesh to injure. It merely slowed down for a moment before its saber came flashing down on them. He had already lost Yu Ziaokian's sword. Furthermore, this blood-colored saber had locked them down tightly now, making it impossible to dodge. Long Chen could only shout and clap both his hands together on the saber. He clenched the saber tightly. However, that saber was far too terrifying. Both Long Chen's arms almost broke from the effort, but he bitterly endured. But no matter how he tried, that saber still continued to slowly slash down. It landed on his shoulder, and that sharp blade instantly pierced his flesh, bringing with it a spurt of blood.